Okay, so we are live now. Awesome. Yeah, so welcome Sweet. viewers to the Steel City Showdown RTT. Unfortunately, this is usually a GT, but due to the world imploding, it is what it is. So today we are doing a 12 person RTT featuring a wide assortment of armies. They are all in BCP. I will put the link in a moment in the chat so you can see that. But there is an event it's called Steel City Showdown RTT. It's in BCP for today. All the lists are updated. I'm going to throw a link in there for a Dropbox that has all the lists. Uh, and during the games, unfortunately, I, can only, I can't really update Twitch with two different lists or four different lists. It's tough. Um, so we'll just have to make do. So today we have for the first game, we have on stream table one, we have Tyranids using a Tyranid soup style list versus Space Wolves. On table two for the first round, we have a Eldari soup style list with mostly Harlequins mm -hmm. versus Blood Angels. This guy traveled all the way from Jersey to play here, so hopefully it's a good game. We also have on the other tables, we have Black Templars versus Custodes, Death Guard versus New Necrons with a Horde style list, and another Space Wolves player versus another Necron player. So I'm going to switch to the deployment of Tyranid versus Space Wolves right now because I need to go give someone some models. So just uh, chill out for a moment. Let me uh, let me go there. This is, those are, that's one blob of gene stealers. Yep. So they're fan, very susceptible to blast. Fan, I have no blast, but fan freaking tastic. Okay. So the only things I have off the table are my five blade guard vets because they're in the transport. Ah. Oh. Yep. Everything else is on the table. Where is my score crowd? Mine's right here. Uh, so I guess we just let Dom know that we're ready. What time is it? It is 10.08. Pop in the bathroom one last time before we go. Go nids from Hydra. Can anyone hear me yet? Maybe? No? Yes? No? I don't know. I don't know. But I'm going to go in here. And cool, we are go. Did Dom just say so? Uh, no, oh. I was in the bathroom. Okay. Head and pull. Where is dice, Dom? Dice. What, back upstairs? Rawr. Can probably page him on the Alexa. I just messaged him on, on Discord. Oh, but, nice. But... Oh, and we have a dice tray right there, too. Alexa, call Dom. My goodness. Uh, it's drop in judge. Alexa, drop in judge. Yo, Dom, we're ready to start the stream whenever you are. Hear people speaking in the background. I don't see a dom though. <laughs> That's really cool though. Alexa, end call. That's really cool. The future. The future is nice. You want to roll for turn, I guess. Oh, uh, oh, you can hear. Cool. Hey, Jake. <laughs> cool. I guess, I guess we're live. My goodness. What's okay. up, ladies and gentlemen? 
We are alive. We've got some space wolves on first forces of the hive mind. The yes. mission is overrun. overrun. Uh, we have not rolled your first turn yet, but we are um, deployed. So if you can see our deployment here, we got a bunch of blip markers on the gene stealer side over there. Yeah, yeah. Um, we got a bunch of uh, gene stealers themselves. We got some na uh, what is that? Termagants. Uh, Termagants. Lord. Lord. Warriors. And over here, I've got a nice spread of, of space wolves, thunderwolf cavalry, ATVs, eradicators. This is my, my custom Thunderlord. It's going to be great. Cool. And so, for turn, I got a two. I got a four. Oh, yeah. You have the option for turn. I'm going to go first. Shock I'm going go to go to 11 command points. When Tardis, we go into the command phase. I have to do my litanies. So we have Canical of uh, Hate, which goes off. And we have Exaltation of Rage, which is going to be on the Thunderwolf Cavalry. Does not go off, okay. which is useful because it's not going to happen first turn anyways. Um, so we go into movement phase on turn one. Okay. Uh, so my secondaries for this match, by the way, are Assassinate, Oaths of Moment, and Abhor the Witch. Um, because he's got a bunch of psychers and characters, and we're going to kill them all. So it's going to be great. Uh, so we're going to start with the ATVs, and they have a 14-inch move. They're just going to zoom up there. Oh, we were just, uh, we weren't sure if the stream automatically started or not. Cool. Making sure you got a nine of the blip markers. You cannot be within nine of blip markers. In range there. Uh, my cavalry can advance and charge. They're going to advance. And they're going to go 11 inches total. Now, my cavalry are obsec. Because of a warlord trait? Is because of the was? rights of war the when they're... rights of war. Now they are obsec because I'm going to put the chaplain right near them. <laughs> I'm just marking the... They weren't technically obsec nine yet. Nine-inch line off these blip markers. This guy can go 14 as well. He's going to spin up over here. The cyber wolf is going to... Hey, Dom, you know what's crazy? What's up? I know the Tyranid player. Oh, Chris? He's like a friend of mine. That's cool. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. He's from Warp Charge Gaming. Yes. Well, so am I. It's <laughs> our world. Yeah. I, like, pulled up the BCP sure. to see the list, and I was like, what? <laughs> That's cool. I looked at the models, and I was like, those are Chris's models. That's true. Right. I've played against those many and times. what's your name? Anthony. Is there is there any way that I can yeah. flip between the streams from uh, my end of the computer, yeah. or do you? Yeah. Is that like a setup? Yeah, that you're, you're a guest, basically. Yeah. Okay. How would cool. you get involved? Uh, I stopped playing WoW. Competitively. So good. Just curious. Doing martial arts. Uh, but yeah, I'm just, I'll be like, right back. Oh, I need something right. to fill my competitive outlet, and I was like, uh, let me grab something that my girlfriend can do with me because she likes to paint. Oh, um, that's really handy. Yeah. So like most of the. So you won't. Hopefully, you won't be able to shoot them as well. And they're still within three inches of the objective in case you kill the cyber wolf. Quit Ooh. don't do it. He's a good puppy. He's a good pupper. Don't kill him. <laughs> um, you'll see the leader. Oh, that's just a message for Twitch chat that I don't need to read. Uh, these guys are going to stay. They're within three inches of the objective, so they're going to stay where they are. They really don't need to do anything this round. They just need to kind of not die. Exist. <laughs> Maybe they'll run over here if I need to. I don't know. Um, oh, by the way, this, the primary is hold two, hold three, hold more. Just so you know. Cool. So with that in mind, um, I'm going to advance the incursors over here. They're going to go three inches, so they'll be nine inches, so they'll be at three inches away from that objective, just so I have that objective as well. I forgot to, to hold that objective, so now I'm paying for it by moving guys back. <laughs> Uh, so we go to the shooting phase, because I have no psychic so powers. I do have to reveal blip markers at this point. Yes, you do. All right, now where do I want to put things? I have lots of options. Um, they advance, so they can't shoot. I like that. What, the eradicators? Uh, yes. Yeah, they, they weren't going to shoot anything anyways. So what I'm going to do... Let me measure a range here real quick. I know it should be nine there, but what is the distance here? Uh, the oh, right. scrambler two still like uh, still looks like they're and engage getting ready to deploy. Okay. I took oath of moment. Which just... I was likely in the restroom for the beginning of this. I apologize to anyone who had to hear that. Apparently, Twitch has been live for two and a half hours, but that's just a uh... oh cool. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Be there. He's gonna be there. 
Um, more it's units to place. Uh, yeah, Dom, do we need to turn on any of these lights or anything, or is, or is the lighting good for you? I think it's good. It looks good on the stream preview. I'm very excited. All right, guys. Uh, I'm back in the, back in the office here. So you may notice there's someone else with me. This is Connor. Hey. He is uh, currently in Virginia, and he's getting ready for a G GT himself, and he wanted to pop in and provide commentary for for today. That's right. That's right. Very excited to be here. This is going to be a lot of fun. Uh -huh. So, so go ahead. what kind of uh, what kind of armies do you play, Connor? So I'm I just play Eldar. That's um I have some random other Bunch stuff, right there. but all I, all I play is Eldar. Um, wow. For the for the GT, I'm doing. I mean, the Eldar meta right now is Harlequin based. My man, my man Dom, he 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 knows about Eldar as well. Um, that's we we have a game. The the other stream game is Eldar as well. So it's and you can see that players also running a lot of Harlequins. Yeah. Just because they have the best strats, they have like how how, how many units does the Eldar Codex have, Dom? Like eight. Eldar Codex, Eldar Codex is a ton. Just no one uses any of them. Yeah, oh, I'm so not Eldar. I meant to say Harlequin Codex. Oh, Harlequins, yeah, they have like troops. So uh, pe people take like three or four units out of that book, yeah. but they have the best strats, and so, those units are quality units. So yeah, that's we kind got, of uh, why you do all right, that. All right, so Hydra Moose, you played against. Uh, Josh, Space Wolves, who are you in the local area? Uh, yeah, Space Wolves are really dangerous, just like Blood Angels in close combat. Uh, I think Chris is going to have a little bit of a problem there since he is not taking any Hive Guard. He's not taking – it's not taking a lot of stuff that would be really useful against Marines. It looks like um, Josh is really deployed aggressively. So I don't know if they've started yet. Let's see here. They're getting close to. I think they're just deploying still. Yeah, so it's gonna be it's gonna be a tough match. On the second stream, we have Blood Angels. Oh, it's Jake. Ow. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, Jake. Jake's one of our other players here that unfortunately has a buy because someone dropped at the last second. Um. So on the second stream, you have Blood Angels. Uh, it's, it's a guy from Jersey. He's an Art of War. So if you if you wanna if you wanna be involved in more of these competitive conversations, make sure to check out the War Room. Uh, with your good Nick, Nick Nonavati, Siegler, Lennon, and Perry, and, you know, Brad Chester and TJ Land again. All sorts of people that I know about 40K. Yeah, the worm is great. I'm in there as yeah. well. I'm yeah. Yeah, down. Connor, that's how I met Connor to join up here. Um, and then facing Blood Angels is, like I said, mentioned before, Eldar player Sam, mostly Harlequins on foot, some uh, Farseer, Warlock, 20 Guardians. I assume we're in a deep strike or just start on the board and die, I suppose. Um, can you can you drop us into the uh, into the tyranny game? Yeah, yeah. So okay, guys, we're gonna go to the tyranny game, um, and you may not hear us, but I'm working on adding our commentary over top of it. So okay, cool, cool. Here we go. Jeez. So I'm gonna take seven casualties. And okay. where do I want to pull them from? Um, I want to stay in synapse, but I got plenty of synapse over here. These dealers are are they're they're big also north synapse. leadership. These dealers are North Synapse. They gain the benefit of Synapse, though. Oh. They don't need Synapse, but they... Oh, but they get the Fearless Synapse if you're within 12 inches. Four. That's something I forgot about. <laughs> I forgot about that. So that is my casualty so far. Um, I'm going to declare the ATVs next. They are going to fire their Meltas into your guy in the back. And they're the going to fire... Pirate. Yeah, and they're going to fire their ABRs into the Gene Stealers. Okay. So these are Meltas. They're six shots hitting on threes. Five hits, strength eight, wounding on threes. Yep. That is four wounds at AP neg four. Not that it really matters. Four invuln, but uh, what is the damage on these? D6. Okay, so I might spend a CP here to reroll a save, depending on how I do. I'm uh, not within half range, so it's only D6. It's not D6 plus two. All right. Don't roll bad. Uh, Pass two, so could kill him, but probably not. I'm going to... Where's my CP counter? You gonna CP one of them? I'll CP one. Try to reroll one. Chance. Don't nope. save it. Damage count is seven. How many wounds does he have? Twelve. So now he's at five. Yeah. I didn't fire my hundred killers, but I didn't declare them, so I can't fire them. But then I get the ABRs of Gene Stealer cults. These are hitting on threes. And 
These are wounding on fours, strength 4t4. These are twin linked ABRs on the bikes. So that's six. Six. Five ups. Save three. Wow. You're doing well on save so far. So three will drop. I will pick up not the whatchamacallit acid moths, which are the non purples. There. Um I don't think I'll have this guy shooting still. Um he's got two storm bolters, which is eight shots total. We'll put him into those purple dudes. Uh, these are, guys? Yeah. Cool. This is from the, the tank. So. Oh, uh, they reroll ones because they're near the captain. But they miss on the two anyways, so. T4. Strength four. Three. Single damage, correct? Yep, no AP. So fives followed by five up feel no pains. Uh, save two. You and your saves today. Good job. I'm good. Okay. I didn't think it was going to do anything, but, you know, worth a shot. Um, okay. So, center of the board, I believe I'm within six. Yeah, he's within six. Okay. Um, and so are the Thunderwolves. They're fine. Uh, if they, you know, don't make a charge. Um, so we're going to end shooting, I guess. Pulling these dice that we're marking nine inches away. Cool. Oops. Um, so we're going to go to charge phase. We're going to declare the, um, the Thunderlord is going to go at your Patriarch. Your Patriarch. That's at least a nine inch charge. And he gets to real failed charges because that's what his Warlord trait does. And he fails his charge, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, Thunderwolf Cavalry are going to declare a charge on the guys in front of them. Cool. And they did not get to real failed charge. So they rolled double one, and I'm not going to bore you about setting a command point for that, because I don't need to. Uh, so that is, I believe, it for my turn one. All right. So uh, end of one, anything you scored? No, uh, I don't score anything. I mean, if, if I kill things, I score things, but no. Oath of Moments is end of battle round, so we'll score that, 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 that at that point, but I, it looks like I'm going to score three points for it. Okay, cool. So far. Cool, cool, so we'll go to your movement phase. Two Tyranid movement phase. Contemplating if I want to regen wounds. I don't have a lot of CP. Oh, I gain one CP, though. Let's not forget that. That bumps me back up to six because I spent a lot per game. Yeah, you do. Oh, wow. That sucks. Um, I got to pay more attention with the Hive Tower. He had a minus one to be hit to his relic. Oh. All right, guys. It looks like Space Wolves just finished their first turn. There was a bunch of Nids dying to Meltos. Mm -hmm. It seemed like those ATVs are pretty brutal. So we're going into the NID movement phase now. We're going to swap over to game number two, see if they've completed their deployment yet. Yeah. Looks like they're tiny, tiny boy. <laughs> Looks like, like got... oh, that's annoying. My thing is... Well, the tiny folks, I should say. Harlequins aren't all dudes. Indeed, they are not. Okay. They, they need to hurry up. <laughs> so can, they, can the, people, yeah. the viewers so can't hear can, us right now? Yeah, so they can hear us right now. Oh, they can't. Uh, figure it. But... They're, they're deploying, it looks like. So, it's on the screen here, what you guys are seeing in here, oh. on the bottom, like we have one. Blood Angels deploying behind the ruins. Um, it looks like Angelus we got, on the sanguinary guard. I, think, they have an I don't know if those are sanguinary guard strength four. behind those ruins. AP two. Uh, AP one, and yeah. up top, we okay. have so, the Eldar yeah. deploying with the Far Seer up there. The joke probably some Harlequins and things, things like that. that uh, so I can guarantee that the Eldar guy yeah. is going to jam everything behind ruins because that's yeah. how Eldar players play. I would, I know, because I am one of them. We yeah, do not like good. to be shot. Very true. Well, with Harlequins too, you tough. need to be able okay. to hide out a lot in sight. Like you said, they're just going to get. Uh, yeah, well, otherwise, their toughness three. Yeah, sure, the shadows here give them minus one wound. Hey, if they weren't really cares about that when you're getting shot by right. a bunch yeah, of bolters. Yeah, then it would be like, I'm, I'm saying. Well, the minus one to wound is only good when it's like, <laughs> uh, your opponent has less shooting. Less drops, like, um, right. you, like, if, you can't take it. Eldar cannot no, take it. No, I meant like, I used to. It's oh, just okay. not okay. No. This no. Well, especially not hard ones. I mean, I'm not a Eldar can if you're doing a lot of heavy stuff, but a lot of that stuff was linked out of the system. Like, wave serpents used to be really good. But at like 157 points, no one's taking no wave serpents. I actually have a ton I mean, come on, that's, that's similar to the cost of a Scorpius Disintegrator now, and they're that's way better than what they do. I mean, the, the, if, you wanna, if you wanted to have sort of tough Harlequins, you'd take a bunch of Star Reaver boats. Right. Um, exactly. But even then, those are still not the toughest. Yeah. 
exactly. Okay, so I'm gonna put yeah, the, I'm I'm gonna put, this... put their audio on for a moment, and so I can sure. test that. Let's see what's going on there. All right, so we we can still hear each other, but I I muted us for this. Cool, cool. Just trying to figure out some. some this is interesting. So he he's basically taking Malik Amin Rubio's list. Yeah. So we can talk about that too. Okay. Who's deploying those guys on the line? What are those terminators? What is that? Yeah. All right. Let me, got, I'm gonna go back to the. Are, I'm, I'm gonna go back players. to the mid game. I'm gonna go back to the mid game. Sweet. Probably not gonna get off a charge. His movement is slightly bracketed. He only moves seven now instead. I'm actually gonna move back a hair. The Warriors are going to advance as well. Five. Do I want to spend a CP to double that? It'd be 10 plus 6. They can move 16. 16 gets me, like, I mean, there's terrain there. These count as uh, ruins? Do we know what these are called? I guess they're um, ruins, right? Yeah, it doesn't really. Uh, industrial structure? Industrial structure. Those would have breachable, scalable. Yeah. So I can just move through that. I'm going to spend 1 CP and move these warriors 16 instead of their advance roll. That brought me down back to five using the Kraken only stratagem. Lion, he's going to be, I'm going to put him up top, but he's on the bottom level. Yeah. Because it's easier to, it'll to be do that. It's easier to maneuver. Most people get to see their fancy, uh, see the fancy, the fancy models. Yeah. With the overhead camera. Um, now let's see these alkalite hybrids. They're going to move six. I'm actually, I'm probably going to advance these guys now that I think about it. Hey, Dom. Advancing, so four, so they're going to get to move an extra four. I want to stay out of six of you, but I do want to try my hardest just to make it difficult for you to navigate any gaps. Uh, I mean, navigating gaps is just me slamming into something, so. Yeah, no, but I'd rather you just slam into the five-man squad that's 50 points as opposed to anything else. Or just shoot them. That's true. Kind of the plan. Something else you're not shooting at, though? I mean, these guys aren't going to be shooting anything anyways, so... They're holding an objective. Aberrant. They're moving... Eight. The Abominant is going to advance. Goes a big six, which is definitely what I wanted. Twelve, because I can get within three of them. He advanced charge? Okay. Not unless I cast a psychic power on him. Oh, nice. Um, Good for me. I currently have 11. Five! Yeah, I didn't spend any of my turn one, and I just gained one, so... Yeah. Moving on to subjective. Um, the Patriarch, he can advance and charge. He's going to advance. One. Fine. That forced, uh, that forced nine inches that I can't close no matter how fast I move is annoying, but I failed my charges because yeah, of it. Let go. It's going to be over here because we're going to go for it. Yes, please do it. And these guys are going to advance. There's a squad of Alkalites back there. Two. You can go H. They care not about the terrain because they are infantry. You are infantry? All right, I think that is all of my movement. The nice thing about this list is it will become progressively faster to play because uh, stuff will die. Yeah. <laughs> all right, let's go into the psychic phase. First things first, I'm going to, from the Patriarch, cast Might from Beyond onto the Aberrants. That is plus one strength and attack. Definitely goes off. Any attempt to deny? I, I, don't no, I have no denials. They took away my, my stratagem denial, otherwise I would have used it on something here. Um, now I'm going to Undying Vigor himself for a 5-up Feel No Pain. He gets that off on a 7. Okay. And I can cast a third power because he has the, the Crouchling Relic. Crouchling, that's what it's called. Um, I'm going to... Where's my third power? Um, Psychic Stimulus. I'm going to cast that 
on um, the abominant, because maybe I'll get a charge. I do get it off. And I'm going to use one of my familiars once per game things, the non-relic one, to cast an extra power, just to smite, because why Jeez. not? Four powers from the one guy. Um, uh, get it okay. off. That's going to go on the impulsor. Yeah. T3, two. two. He's got nine wounds left. Okay. He's got 11 wounds to start with, so he's got nine left. The Broodlord is going to cast Catalyst on the Gene Stealers. Um, nope. Okay, he doesn't get it off. That's fine. That was um, a four. That is not enough to cast a Psychic Power. He's going to Synaptic Lore, I guess, on the ATVs. It only costs five. Just rerolls all crack yep. and stuff can roll charges. I'm going to declare the ATVs, even though pretty much everything should make it. Any perils. I think I want to CP that. Yeah, so because down I just to four. don't want to. Uh, is, did they change Psychic? No, you roll both. Roll both? Okay, yeah, you roll the positive. You roll the test. I get it. Yeah. All right, so everything rolls charges. Lucky you. I have so many CP. Um, sorry, you're down guys. to four, and I've got 11 left. It's going to um, be great. How many wounds do the uh, Thunderwolf Cap have? Three? Three each. And they're T5, and they have a four-up invulnerable save because of the Storm Shields with okay. the two-up armor save. Okay, okay, okay. So going to the shooting phase... I'm going to shoot the Exocrine at the Thunderwolf Cav. Okay. I'm going to spend two CP. I'm down to two. Or, you know what? I'm not going to do them yet. Okay. I'm going to do I'm going to do the Hive Tyrant first. I'm going to shoot at the ATVs. Kill. Um. Yeah. I have. Go through. What's the strength? It is strength nine. It is flat three damage, and it is D3 shots. It's not worth transhuman. Okay. D3 shots. Three shots. Yeah, you um, might kill one. Still hitting on threes, because the ballistic skill doesn't degrade for the first bracket. Yep. Oh my goodness, that is tragic. It is. He rolled a one, a two, and a two. Um, so no hits. Like yeah. I said, not going to transhuman it. Not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm going to fire the Exocrine. I will spend two CP here um, to make his shots flat three damage. And I'm going to shoot Thunderwolf Cav. Oh, yeah. That's not fun. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, each, nine, ten, twelve shots all day. But no synat no symbiostorm, so Correct. No symbiostorm. So he's hitting on fours. Uh he has a plus one in Yeah, that's yeah, the the symbiostorm is the exploding. Yep. So he's got threes then, right? Yep. So threes and AP neg three flat three because of the two yeah. CP I spent. Fail, 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 fail. Don't like that, but that's okay. Strength seven. It's winning on threes. Fail, fail. So you got five saves? Five saves. On fours? I, I'm going to spend a CP to reroll one of them. And I save. Ugh. One guy dies. Okay, well, that's something. Um, I still have a bunch of pistols and stuff I can fire. Well, not a bunch. Uh, just this unit, really. So there's a five-man unit that's going to fire their pistols at the Thunderwolf Cav. Because I may as well go for any kind of damage I can get. Uh, two hits. And no wounds. Cool. Fine. Looks like that's pretty much all your shooting. That is all of my shooting. Okay. Let's uh, go into charge phase. the charge phase. Who else is behind here besides the character? Just the unit of, uh, of incursors. All right. Let's... Would make charges difficult because there's an all room to fit models there. But I do have the one character, though, who can advance and charge because of Psychic Stimulus. So the Abominant is going to charge just that squad. Okay. Six may make it. I'm not positive, though. Probably not. From here? Yep. I think you make it, yeah. Okay, cool. Well, unless I measured wrong, but... You were not on the front of my base, so I probably had, like, another half inch. Oh, then probably, then maybe not, then. Go ahead and uh, measure properly. Well, I was going to say, you actually, I would have had more distance than you were giving me. Oh, more distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, then, then yeah, you would have made it then. I'm like over here, give or take. Yeah, there's there's a little cavern down there that they can be in. And now the aberrants are going to charge your character. Okay. An eight, I'm pretty sure I got that. Yeah. Yeah, you've got, you've got the room to make. And they're infantry, so they are going to just be pretty happy. Probably get in after the pylon. Um, 
love to charge the Eradicator with my Patriarch, but I don't see that happening. I'm going to charge... I guess I also have to charge the Repulsor, probably. Yeah, um, I have a Stratagem for them that I might try to try out. I need to see what it does, though, because I don't remember what it does, because it's a brand new Codex. It's... Stratagem's Grav Pulse, um... Sun's Charge Phase minus two. Yeah, you know what, I will, just, just for the sake of doing it, because it might help, I'm going to spend my one command point for Grav Pulse. It subtracts two from your charge roll. Okay. If you're declaring him as a target. Cool. I'm gonna yeah, I'm gonna declare the repulsor and the character. Basically if you roll low, you could fail your charge because yeah. you need like a a three to hit. <laughs> I get a five. Minus two is three. <laughs> that'll that'll make it in. Cool. So he's just actually gonna have to end up like right there. Because that's the only way that he can hit both. Alright, now the re rollable charges. Um the warriors charging the ATVs, of course. Um I'm going to spend a CP to Overwatch there. Okay. Because if I can get the Meltas in, that, that's great. So we're going to start with the six melt, the, the 16 uh, or 18 um, ABR shots just to see what I can get through. One, two, three. I pick up the die. Four, five. Strength four. Four. Forced wound. Well, one wound, and then I have six Delta shots. Save it. Dang it, nothing. Uh, look at all those fives, though. Uh, I'm on the thing, so I, can I set to defend? Um, to overwatch on fives? Do you not have to be holy with them? I don't think I do. Check um, ruins. Ruins. So I think I have... It says defensible, but it doesn't say whether you have to be holy with it or anything. Yeah, I'm looking, I'm looking it up over here just in case. I think I can be defensible. And oh, it's infantry. Never mind. Cool. So charge with a reroll if I need it. I definitely don't need it. I got an eleven. Dang. I was really hoping that set to defense would would. Huh? Hello. Cool. I also have to be infantry, and I'm not. <laughs> Thanks, Dom. Thank you, Dom. So I want to stay out of six of your dread. I don't think I can be on the back of you and be out of six, if I'm honest. That's fair. But I also want to be out of six of the... Oh, they can't go through walls anyway. I don't care. But if you are within six, I can declare heroic intervention and go towards somebody That's else. I don't have to go towards the nearest end model. Out of six there. Come on, buddy. Uh, the Broodlord is going to charge now, too. With a re-rollable charge. Oh my goodness, I got it with an 8. Shock and mm, all. Shock and all. Uh, the Gene Stealer is also going to do their re-rollable charge. Number <laughs> once. I don't actually need to re-roll it, but for giggles. All right. 7, okay. Uh, staying out of 6. I'm glad oh. you're committing so much threat to these ATVs. They, uh, they hurt, but also they're in the way. All right, combat. Let's see. What do we have here? I feel like I should go with the uh, character first. Not my character. Against your character. With the aberrants, because they smack. Okay. So I'm going to do the... So with your piling, you won't be able to get anyone else in because of, ba of, of si base size? Yeah. You can get him in. Cool. All right, guys. Uh, while the Nid's doing a little close combat, we'll see the results of Gene Slivers versus ATV. So I'm going to move... It's back. actually... Yeah, we're going to move to the Eldar game real quick. The, the Tyranid game is interesting, because... As I was wrong. <laughs> it's, it's the back of the dice or the front of the dice? Uh, it is the uh, back of the dice. Okay, so yeah. So. Sorry. It's okay. I just didn't think. And then right there. Yeah. The Warlord trait one right there. That's the painted one or the unpainted the one? The painted one is the Warlord. Okay, gotcha. And you have, like, the range-reducing thing, I'm guessing? I do. That's on the black one. Yeah. Okay. Okie dokie. And Inceptor is the last unit to go down. Yeah, because I only put one pivotal roll on uh, the Troop Master. Gotcha. So this guy needs to be within the CFD. Okay. Set 
that's weird. All right, and I am deployed. All right, so I just have your rain to deploy. I'll just go ahead and deploy your rain here. Guardian bomb. It's got like four squads of medium-sized, har like close combat Harlequins, and two Skyweaver units. So it's really good at holding objectives because of all the obsec. Although it is very fragile because it's Eldar. So it's an interesting balance. The Eldar guy is really gonna have to leverage these two ruins in the middle to not get shot, even just like by bolters, because bolters still kill Eldar troops like in droves. Um, so I'm really curious to see how he how he makes his first couple moves. The Skyweavers will be good to harass. Um, this guy doesn't have a ton of vehicles. I'm curious to see how he deals with the super hard hitting close combat Blood Angel stuff, because the Blood Angels did lose all their strats in the new Codex, right? Yeah, they only have like four strats now. Like they lost like the pickup and deep strike, they lost like a bunch of stuff. So I'm curious to see how that plays now. Yeah, um, I'm adding our cameras to this. <laughs> Dom is the, is the wizard in the sky. I know, yeah, right. There we go, all right. But yeah, so he, I mean, he's he's back. He's he's clearly like not trying to take too much shooting, like even incidental shooting, because he's backlined it. Mm -hmm. Um, and the skywavers are so fast that it doesn't really matter how far away he is to to a certain point. Right, they'll be able to get to it, especially after first turn when it there's like he, many more targets. He deep struck the guardian bomb. Correct. It looks like he did. So he'll, he'll be so if the um the blood angel player exposes something um juicy. Mm -hmm. I assume, I mean, he's going to be able to doom it, drop the Guardians, and blast it. So. Well, I mean, he's, he's going to move the Sangry Guard up. Mm. And he does have the banner, which gives him plus two to his movement. So those Sangry Guard are going to be moving 14 plus D6 plus one advance. So they're going to be pretty fast. I mean, they can move up, what, that's what, 20, 21 inches on in the first turn, potentially. And we're talking two squads. Two, two squads. He has two squads at eight. And he that has the unit of Inceptors, I think, in reserve. Maybe they're on the board. That might be them. No, he has the Blade Guard in the in, in yeah, the, blade, the Blade Guard, yeah. yeah. The Blade Guard, I think, are going to be a problem. Although two of yeah. are also a problem for Eldar. Yeah. So just, he has. Uh, yeah. So let's um, let's talk about Anthony's list real quick. So the Blood Angel player, he has a battalion of Blood Angels. He has Commander Dante, mm -hmm. a lieutenant. With a Mastercrafter Thunderhammer, a Sanguinary Priest, who is a Chief Apothecary, the Selfless Healer, and all that good stuff. Then he has a unit of Incursors, two units of Intercessors, which are basically just to hold objectives. He has uh, five Bully Guard Veterans, which are basically there to get transhuman. That's why no one ever takes six of them, besides the Blast Rule being pretty terrible for that. He has a Judiciar. Uh, he has Sanguinary Ancient. And then two units of Sanguinary Guard. So the um, <clears throat> selfless healer is something impulse. that we might we might touch on like that. That's the apothecary yeah. or trait that lets you bring back a free model every turn. Right, right. That's gross. All right, let me it, let's uh let's transfer over real quick to the mid game. Let's see what's going on here. Things are happening. Well, they, well, they almost deployed it. <laughs> Yay! One whole guy dies. Now let's go with the patriarch against your repulsor. Um, he has um six attacks and he also has biomorph adaptation which gives him plus one attack so seven attacks two four six seven and then he also has two familiars i'll actually do the two familiars first uh do they have two attacks each yep two each so familiars um they're not good at hitting they hit on threes so two hits not good at hitting hitting on threes yeah strength four um no, one one if you dash six He's a uh, three up, five up. Cool. And these are hitting on twos. And this is a built-in reroll to wound, but it is strength uh, seven. Fours. Fours with a reroll. One. So any sixes are going to be flat three minus six AP. Um, flat everything three else. Damage? Nice. Yes. And these are minus three D threes. Oh. Art, rather. All right. So I don't know. It looks like not not a lot died. Which is bad. Chris, Chris yeah, so the, the Space Wolf player really pushed up, and Chris could have, with some luck and dice rolls, could have.
now. That does not look good. Uh, I mean, I figured the Broodlord and the Gene Steelers would kill some stuff. I figured a few more things would die, but it does not seem to be the case there. Can you, can you throw us onto a top-down view, Dom? Yeah. Maybe the other side of the board is looking better. Because I know that Chris charges some aberrants, I think, into the Impulsor. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. So hopefully that will be good. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that could be rough, man. Okay, so now we're in the top-down view. There, it takes a little while to up, up, update, though. Yeah, no worries. So, no. yeah. Let's see here. It's, um, what do you think fun. happened here? I can go down there and ask in a few minutes too. But it, it looks like he just bounced, which is because yeah. the thing with Tyranids, man, is they don't have any rules to wound in combat outside of the Broodlord. Um, and maybe like some random GSC tech I'm forgetting, but I don't think they do. So if you're running into a bunch of T7 stuff with armor saves and you're all strength four, I mean, the Aberrants are high strength, but they could just whiff because they don't have a massive attacks. I mean, they, I mean, they sort of, they sort of do, but. Well, the vehicles are only the, I mean, the ATVs, I think are toughness five, the toughness five, eight wounds are just big, big bikes. So the Broodlord should be able to kill them, but it really depends on how many sixes he rolls for that big, like AP negative six, three damage attack or whatever it becomes. I mean, because you know what I just also realized is that the Impulsor, it sucks that the Aberrants charge the Impulsor because that is the only tank that has an Emblem save. Which is like what the Aberrants don't want because they have high AP and good damage. Right. But if our if our, if our Space Wolf player just rolls hot on some 4-ups, which is, you know, a possibility. Well, the Impulsor could have passed a bunch of Shield Dome saves too. Like, yeah. That's what I'm saying, right? Like the 4 up Emblem is good on a tank. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put us back to the Eldar game and I'm going to uh, let them talk for a little bit. Awesome. Nice. Okay. This is fun. Yeah. It's a cool time. I like this. All right. So there we go. Back to the Eldar game. You're right. He look, looks like he moved up pretty, pretty hardcore. Save. Okay. Slam me with smites and stuff. Yes. Let's start with no, murder my cursors. Uh, is gonna go ahead and cast gaze if you need. What's the troop master look like again? Sorry. He's the guy with the um, right here. Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I see him. All right. So gaze if you need. Uh, that is a one. That is a peril. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do get to add one, but I don't think that helps me. I'm not going to spend a command point. Right, let's see how much she takes. D3, so two. Two. Yep. She's then going to attempt to cast. Oh, uh, you count up or down? Oh, right. I count how many she's taken, but I can count down. Okay. That is another thing that's confused people in the past. Yeah. <laughs> um. So she has five wounds. She has three left. Three. Okay. All right, uh, she's going to attempt to cast Smite. Oh, no. Wow. Like I said. Yeah. I just want some of that. Not the best start. I know. All right. Well, that's fun. All right, uh, so next, uh, that Shadow Seer. Shadow Seer is pass. All right, so he's going to go ahead and target this squad right here. I attempt to give them minus one. Minus one to be hit. hit. Yeah. Actually, that's the Fog of Dreams. Uh, this is the Fog of Dreams. Actually, going to cast. This is the Shards of Light and Fog of Dreams one. Okay. Uh, Shards of Light, going to cast against them. So that does go off on a seven. Okay. Uh, D three mortal wounds and okay. minus one for your leadership. So two. So one dies. Yeah. Minus one to your leadership. And then she's going to cast Smite. Okay, goes off. D3. Another Sweet. one goes down. So she is oh. done. There we go. Then I'm going to go ahead and the other one do Veil of Tears on them. Okay, the front unit. Goes off on a nine. Okay. And then attempt to cast Smite. Wow. Okay. Okay. Three. How many left? The Warlord one, two. 
Uh, they have, those are all those guys, all of my slackers right there. They have five wounds or four? Uh, I think they've got five wounds each. I'm going to stop rolling on the dice, Matt. <laughs> yeah, apparently that part's cursed. Yeah. Yep, yeah, they've got five wounds each. Okay. Right. All right, so then... That is a surprising amount. Yeah. I thought they would have four. The, a lot of the Space Marine characters only have four. What's that about? Well, like, these guys, these like the big like heroes. These are like the captains and such. So oh, they don't okay. really have yeah, like the, they don't have like the mid level. Mini well, there's yeah, literally not the a, closest thing to yeah. any hero. There's not enough units in the codex for yeah, exactly. All right, uh, so shooting phase. Ah, uh, he is gonna go ahead and fire at them. Uh, firing a shuriken cannon profile. He's hitting on twos. Yep. He's wounding you on threes. Yep, and that was going on to where? Oh, uh, onto them. So oh, okay. one at just, AP minus. Just three. ruining that squad today. Yeah, and one at AP minus three. Okay. So and then two regular ones. Uh, I'll take the AP three here. Okay. So six up. Nope. Damage. Uh, it is just one damage. Okay. So he takes one, and then two. Uh, oh, I'll take. I guess I have to take. Oh, this doesn't matter. I have to go on that guy. If mm -hmm. anything. Uh, okay. pass on felon. So. This guy dies. Yep. And now they so can't overwatch, dude. Oh, no. <laughs> I know. <laughs> can't spend those CP. Uh, how dare you? Um, I was going to yeah. set to defend. All right. So there's that guy. So they're going to force me to use my pistols. Uh, so the first nine-man squad. Okie dokie. They just have, like, the basic shuriken pistol, I'm yep. guessing? Yep. Okay. Nothing, nothing crazy. No. Um, I'm not a huge fan of fusion pistols, and I say that as somebody who doesn't have a lot of experience using them. I was actually a lot more scared of this type of Harlequins than I was of, uh... Well, don't say that. <laughs> uh, you can take... All right, so, uh, just two at AP minus three. Uh, oh, good. Uh, that guy's taking no damage, so six ups. Lives! Oh. He has one wound. All right. Back squad. All of them are within range. See, like I said, regressing hard to the mean here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so that is just one wound. One wound? No AP? Mm -hmm. No AP. Not like that. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go ahead and shoot the. I think the troop masters have the same profile as the uh, shadow seers. Yeah. So, uh, do you mind if I shoot the troop masters and the uh, shadow seers at the same time? Oh yeah, go ahead. All right. So they're all gonna fire at him. Yep. It's all just the same pistol profile yep, and nothing. Yeah, all hitting on twos. Oh, don't the Shadow Seers have the grenades or whatever? Oh, uh, they did, but I forgot about that. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, two wounds, no AP. Two wounds, uh, three ups. Uh, pass on felon. All right. One to the one guy. It hits. It wounds, but it also he takes a mortal wound automatically anyway. Oh, from the, the, from the Morkai round. Him. Yeah, the Morkai round is a mortal wound and takes him off. <laughs> um... The blade guard vets are going to shoot their five bolt pistols at the guys right in front of them, the five man unit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, four hits. E three. One, uh, three wounds at nag one. All right, so five or sixes. Oh, you know what I? Hold on. Uh, sixes. I save one. So, so two will die. Two die. Uh, do you care if I roll a five up, feel no pain on my patriarch who took a wound? Because he did have a five up, feel no pain. Oh yeah, go for it. Uh, yeah. Doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> so I'm going to pull the exocrine. I'm actually going to pull these. Okay. Um, I'm going to fire my eradicators at your aberrants, whatever they're called. Yep. So I have eight shots total, hitting on threes. And wounding on your T5? Uh, they or actually, T I think, are T4. Oh, then twos. I'm gonna verify well, it's going to be it's gonna be either five or six. 
though. Okay. At AP minus three. Good, kill them. I'll be shocked if not. And each one's min ten, min five damage. Cool. Um, I do have an invuln regardless. Yep. So they are T four. Yep. So six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I can make two invulns here, I'm in decent shape. But that is to be determined, and I have a six up invuln for the viewers because I am the bladed cog. You um, made, I made one, one and that is not enough. So this each one of these is plus four, so six, seven, seven, six, and nine. That is absolutely killing them. They only have two wounds each. Yeah, they're they're dead. They're hella dead. Um, so we're gonna fire the Leviathan next. He's gonna put his two heavy flamers into the gene stealers right there, and he's gonna put the uh, guns into the guy in the back, the storm cannons. Cool. So heavy flamers shoot. Oh, minus one for auto hits. on the hit because of my relic. Okay, four auto hits. Strength five. Uh, so G7. that's two wounds on the gene stealer cult on the on the gene stealers. This is just the uh, the, the flamers. Fives. Make one, fail one. The one who dies, and then I have ten, twenty shots hitting on threes because you're minus one. Yep. Ones, twos. That tyrant has chameleonic mutation. Good for him. Uh, I believe I'm wounding on threes. Uh, top to seven. Oh, then I'm wounding on fours. I didn't roll any, I rolled two threes anyway, so that's fine. <laughs> what is the AP? Uh, minus two. In Six is. Only? Six of them. And they're two damage each. Alright. Still have two CP, so I could re-roll this if I absolutely need to. Um, so I save almost all of them. Um, I'll just take the two damage. I'll drop me down to three. Four up in me? That's yep. annoying. Um... That's unfortunate. Oh well. Someone with storm shields complaining about a four I know. I, I, I forgot he had a four up in me. That that I wasn't complaining. I was like, he has a four up in me. Oh yeah. Look at that. Um, ten shots here from the uh, bolt guns at the gene stealers. Should kill them. Hopefully. If not, I'll just charge them. Oh, they should be super. But. Uh, so that is five more saves. I say They're not dead. enough. They're dead. Cool. Um, oh, and then my storm bolters off of the impulsor can shoot in melee combat because he's a vehicle right into your into your boy. Yep, yep. Uh, I'm hitting on fours now because of my lowered bracket. But two, five at AP two. Yep. So five up. Uh, one four die. So the sergeant lives. Okay. Are you going to spend a CP to interrupt? I am not, as it turns out. Uh, well, I would have... No, I just... They're minus one to be wounded now, right? And minus one to be hit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm... I think I'm going to be all right, yeah. Children, for, for those of you following at home, write down your answers now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let us know what you would do in this situation. Indeed. How much is the life of one little incursor worth? Yeah, as it turns out, probably like two clowns, if that... Because the whole Blood Angel meme offsets the minus one, and then yeah. I'm just wounding on threes, but I'm hitting on fours. <laughs> got a little bit closer. So not everybody's going to get within range. I think he might die anyway. I'm no, you know, I'm no seer. I can't see the future. Indeed. But I think six murder clowns might be just enough to get it done. Within an inch of one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six who are going to be within range. Yep. Alright, so six, they've got three attacks. I think all four die. Hey, viewers at home. Guardian so we're back at the Eldar game. We just saw the Tyranid game. Chris yeah, didn't. Chris is, is feeling the force of the Space Wolves right now. But um, it looks like here we have the Eldar player made a little charge onto the remaining Incursor. He's occupying that ruin. Um, he's at a good angle. So the Blood Angels guy is going to have to move a little bit to shoot him. Um... So it's it's an interesting yeah, situation. I'm I'm curious to see how much firepower okay, our Blood Angels player can bring to bear. <laughs> if you'd like I mean, to I think it was a roll like yeah. so many ones. All right, then now it would have uh, to be. They are not going to consolidate, so we just have that guy to fight back. Okay, so he'll have uh, he'll get one for the chain sword, three because he's a sergeant, one because you charged him. He's hitting on threes. Now oh, look at that, easy. And then he'll wound on some plus one. So what's your toughness? Uh, so I'm toughness four. So these will be threes. 
Mm -hmm. uh, three. Three. Right. You can, of course, hear the players talking in the background a little bit, so I'm trying to also hear what they're saying so we can give you guys a good viewing experience. But yeah, man, Eldar, Team Eldar has, has taken one half of the board. Um, I anticipate that those Sanguinary Guard are going to yeah. clap so to sure the Skyweavers oh, yeah, if they can make that right, charge. Cool. Right. Um, right, so at the end of my turn... And otherwise, uh, he's, he's you know, playing cagey with the second Skyweaver squad. I think that once the Blood Angels player exposes a unit... Mm -hmm. To go out and get some work done, Yellow, that's uh, going to be probably, right? guardian, uh, a guardian target. Um, Does holding this give me anything? And we can pull up yeah, Best Coast Pairings, the fantastic yeah, turn map, to see yeah. what powers die, the yeah, Farseer has. Let's see what happens. And our Farseer ball? friend the ten. Yeah. has no, Doom. Has yeah, no, yeah. Okay. And Doom is the you only power... Listed on oh, BCP. Really? Yeah, I would assume it's it's like Doom and Executioner or Doom and God. Um, an interesting fact about the Guardians, because I think we're going to see the Guardians very shortly, is um, he's taking them super aggro with Hail of Doom and Superior Shuriken. So they're going to be able to drop and pop a unit, because AP1 is great against Sanguinary Guard, because it gets rid of that 2-up save. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to upgrade. Uh, so that's going to be very, very interesting. AP1 is strong against Marines. I'm going to just track it up here, so all that sense. Um, oh, I could have auto pass there, I guess. Eh, it's not worth it. No um, jinx, okay. but doom. So, um, um, I have to do like a million things in the command phase. And yeah, I mean, I, I think so, the Eldar player is just setting up a, a little, a little game play, of uh, wait and see, unit, which is usually what Eldar players do. Um, no, it's gonna put the black base unit into assault doctrine. Okay. Uh, Dante is gonna give a full hit reroll to someone. Uh, we'll do that to the red unit. Okay. And then. The I'm gonna spend two CP to put the red unit in all the doctrine. All right, so I'm back now. I do. Woo. Mr. Dom is back so in the Dom, studio. So it looks like it's, looks like, looks like it's turn one uh, for Blood Angels. Yeah. So did he leave the cursor alive? He um. Oh, the banner. Like it. someone plus one to hit. It looks like he at least charged him to get a little bit of forward uh, movement, maybe a wrap off. A wrap would be excellent. Yeah, I don't know how he's gonna wrap him. You can just. He could, uh, he could, he could, away or whatever. he could use desperate breakout, but at that point yeah. he's making him burn CP. Um, right, right. And it doesn't. And I was saying earlier that it doesn't I look like the Blood Angels player is going to have a great angle to be able to shoot anything in that obscuring ruin. He's going to have to move kind of in a uh, an awkward way to get line of sight. Go. Um, right. I am curious to see if he's going to send the Sanguinary Guard over to try to clap the Skyweavers on the right hand, the bottom right objective. Um, and if he does, it's going to put him in guardian threat range. Well, I'm also wondering. So the outer player made a big gambit to get those objectives. So he has one, two, three right now. Oh, right. He has, no, he has. Sorry, he has five. He has four. Um, yes. He has three in his back. He has something in that in that ruin in the top left. He has four. Yeah. So he's at least going to have to take that one objective. Otherwise, Sam's going to score 15 points. Which is great. I mean, I think yeah. it's a smart play. Um, right. And it's gonna. And it's what it's really also gonna do is force this Blood Angels player to make some decisions to split up his army, or not. And right. I think I mean, it seems like new Space Marines are pretty reliant on keeping within your buff ranges of your characters. So if you start firing off missiles, then things are gonna start to be exposed, and at which point the Eldar player can start to pick it apart. So you can see he's measuring to that top left ruin up there. Yeah, he wants to move up forward. Thank that's for sure. Friend. You're tall, you can reach All right, I'm gonna go back. Uh, we're, we're, we're going back to the mid game in, in Space Wolves. Right, I can move him from that. Just, yeah. Okay. Should we uh, them in the position that they were in? Maybe. That's fine. That puts me within six inches of my chaplain, which gives me obsec. And then um, you you fight next because I fought with all my charging units already. Cool. So all I have left really is uh, oh actually I have a few things left. Um, we don't you got go him first. and them. He's gonna survive because the repulsor isn't that good in combat. So let's do the broodlord first because I could actually narrow your attacks a little bit. Maybe. Potentially. Probably. <laughs> Choose. Fail. There's another one in there. Uh, oh. That brown dice. One of the brown dice is one. 
And threes with a reroll. All right, so this one is flat three, neg six. These two are neg three, d3s. Sixes? Okay. And so that's two. Well, and that's that was a flat, flat three. six. A flat, flat three. three. So that's five. Five, six, seven. Okay, so he's got one wound left on him, and he's still alive. Um, I'm going to fight with the Impulsor next, I guess, because why not? Hit. Uh, two hits. Cool. One, two wounds. Strength seven. All right. Uh, no AP? Yep. So threes with a five up, feel no pain. Take them both. Cool. Warriors next. Four, eight, nine, ten, oh, eleven. I probably should have done that first, but it's okay. It's fine. On threes. Only on fives. Are minus two and single damage. Oh, kill one and does the damage to the other. Okay, um, I'm gonna fight back with my my boys. Your boys. They have two, 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 and three. Two, 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 and three. Hitting on threes. And wounding on P five. Four fives. One. One. Okay. Uh, any AP? Uh, no. Oh, well, AP one. All right. So six up, followed by five up. Make it six up, though. Okay. All That's right. Pretty reasonable, honestly. So score your points for. Um. I don't, still can kill the character. Correct. Um. Oh, I got these guys to fight still. That one dude left. Oh He's yeah. Four attacks. Three hits and. Oh, it's on the warriors because I can't fight the Broodlord. Uh, so that's three on the three? Brutal, on the them. Uh, I'm fine. Yeah, I figured. Okay, so what points do you score? Uh, nothing yet. At the end All of right, the so here we are at for, the Nid sorry, and no. Space Wolf game again. I need to update the turn there. It is turn two for the Nids. It might even be turn three for the Space Wolf now. It's uh, unfortunately, Connor was just saying. This is a rough matchup for these guys. I don't know them. Alexa has something to say too. Yeah, I know. Yeah, she, didn't, she didn't know that. Huh? It's tough, man. I mean, he, Chris doesn't have a ton of shooting in this list. He's got GSC mixed in there, so it's pretty much all close combat. And Space Wolves, I mean, Space Marines just do close combat better than most factions. Um, yeah. But I mean, so but Chris does have some GSC. In deep strike, I think it's like it, he has one acolyte bomb in his list that I saw, um, which I don't, I don't know that that's going to be enough to kind of because this looks very, very grim. Um, I applaud your energy because it looks like didn't even have only had one objective. It looks like yeah, man, it's because uh, I don't think Chris is on any objectives this turn. Uh, he he's on the one, the one in the rear, right? That's. The one in the middle behind the forest. The one in the middle. I think those are space wolves. Really? I, I'm, I'm. I'm. I can't. I'm pretty sure those are space wolves. That's why I'm oh, like. Let me oh, change the camera angle. Um. It's funny because I know Chris. He's a friend of mine, and I'm like, I'm Paul Free Man, but this is sad. Yeah, dude, that's rough. Let's see what's going on here. He's a great player. You know, it's just uh, it's tough. I think I think we would have. Yeah, those are those are space wolves. Those are like scouts or something. Or no, I'm sorry, those are acolytes. So he has he has an objective, um, which is good. Now it's his turn. Okay. So I think we're gonna see some moves. We're gonna see. So we have some acolytes over here. We've got. He still has that patriarch. Um, you can see kind of in the, the right. center bottom of the screen, there's an aberrant in there as well. Um, so all hope is not lost. It does look a little grim. I, th I Honestly, I thought that those acolytes were like Space Wolf scouts for a second, and I was like, oh, man, he really just got swept. But he's, he's okay. He still gets himself on the board. It looks like the Exocrine is dead, which is not, which is not great. Oh, I just don't see what he's going to do against the Thunderwolves. I mean, he really, he really needed the, the Exocrine to pop off on, in his first shooting phase and kill, like, three. Um, and he killed one. So that's, that, that was... Um, 
Oh, that was bad. No, you want these guys. Yeah. That's fine. It's going to be tough. All right, I'm just going to let them go to audio now. And reserves. Time to bring in most everything. You've got a lictor. You've got a lictor. The 20-man blob. The pistolier. A five-man blob. The close combat assassin can move decent. After coming in nine inches. Cool. So this is this actually reinforces you a, a semi decent amount. It makes you want to try to take your backfield. Is is, is the hope here? Uh, there isn't much room in the backfield because I do have this screen. They're gonna push back a little bit. They're gonna push back. They're gonna push back. And I'm at three CP. Yep. I'm still eradicators. At six. How many wounds each? Three. The eradicators. Yeah, they're three wounds each, and then they have a stratagem for being plus one armor save against things that have damage one. Okay. Um, it's the uh, Ceramite Wall Gravis stratagem that they added. They also can transhuman. So... I kind of want to flamer pistol the Eradicators. Um, I can do pretty easily, but if I spend 3 CP and kill this Cyberwolf, which is a horrible use of 3 CP... <laughs> well, actually, no, I can't do that because I'm going to be using that same stratagem on something else. And I can't double use a stratagem. Not... In this edition. All right, guys. Here we are back at the uh, is that all Blood Angel verse uh, Eldar game. Shoot. Oh yes, that was. The... And I'm gonna let the players just the play out, and we'll we'll come shot. back and talk about it in a little bit. Can I even do that? What's the range? Twenty-four, I believe. Yeah, you should be within twenty-four. Okay. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We are no longer there. Yeah, I think so. Right, so minimum three. Okay. So, yeah, so he's doing what I thought he would do. He's moving the block over to deal with those jet bikes. Okay, we're just do that. I mean, if he doesn't kill him, it's tough because they they can fall back um, immediately after attacking. Okay. Uh, this will just be. That's a ruin. Uh, and oh, you mean with the impulsor? Yeah. Uh, strength four. Yeah. Yep. So that. Oh, yeah, uh, with the prop fight with the Sanguine. Yeah, because the Sanguine Garden have 18-inch guns. I usually people complain about my dice, but yours, no. All right, uh, four? Four. <laughs> All right, four, four plus. Uh, two times. Yeah. All righty. Yeah. All right. Um, Let's see here. I'm listening to the game. <laughs> All right, so uh, charge phase. So I'm within six. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm um, I'm there so too. That Shoot. Would be so normally a five on the dice plus one for blood angel, so four rerolling mm -hmm. both. All right. Yeah, you make it. And I'm gonna reroll this one just for a little bit more. Do you get the choice to reroll just one? Yes, it's or both. Okay. One or one or both. Because uh, yeah, I know that's one of the things that they started. To yeah, change. they started to crack down on that. They left this one in. I don't know why. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so... Oh, sorry, I so counted it's a... how many he... He only took one wound, right? I don't remember. Okay, we'll leave it at yeah. just in case he took two. I don't think it's really going to matter, but... Yeah, this is, uh, some damage. Okay, so the first man's going to move like this. And then they're going to kind of just Tokyo Drift in. Um, just because he's like tilted That's forward. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. You can just. I mean, you can range him around however you like. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna just rotate him. You a can bit. just even pull him off and put him next to it. Oh, that works too. Yeah. I'll just twist him like that. There we go. That works. Mm-hmm. Um, that keeps me in coherency. There. This looks so janky. Two goes across. Yeah, it's not over. So these have to go here. Pile up. Trail back to. It actually matters. You know, I'm defensible, so I get my. Uh, yeah, you get your plus one. Get my plus one. So this <laughs> back model is uh, keep me in Dante range for the reroll ones. And I don't think I can, like, physically make that charge with anything else. Like, I don't 
think it's the. I guess okay. it's technically doable with a couple of models. You do get a reroll, so. Yeah. Then it's the do I want to question. That and is that's the question. That it's its own. Um. No, I think that unit will get it done. They're in Assault Doctrine, so they have a million attacks, and they're in reroll hit range, and I don't think I'm really going to need be needing to reroll wounds. All right. So, um, start of the... I'm definitely not within 12, because I couldn't shoot. Um, okay, so... Oh, there's an argument to be made that I should not... No. Okay. Um, hey, I mean, this is all just, like, pretty much three rounds of pure tournament practice. You, know, you didn't yeah. pay anything. You're getting your money's worth already. Right. So um, just follow your gut and see where it takes you. Yeah, yeah. This one's just a mess, so it's <laughs> it's gonna be what it'll be. So uh, everybody but one power pistol swing. Oh. Okay. So and not enough dice. <laughs> So I'm going to do the swords first. Okay. They're not neg one to hit in melee, or they are? They are not neg one to hit in melee. Okay. So this will hit on twos, and reroll ones from being within range of Dante. All right. So. There's one right there. Yeah. Ah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's cocked. That's fine. Okay. All right. They'll, they'll hit. hit. <laughs> um, they're toughness four. Yes. So I'm strength five, but plus so one to wound. All right, so, so twos. Twos. Uh, so six failed, so that's 24. All right. So how much damage each? Two. Two. All right. Yeah, AP a billion. Yeah. All right, so it doesn't really matter, right? So first, we'll, we'll do these one at a time for him. Well, if that makes it... What a lord. All right, so All right. he's dead. Yep, and I can do them as grips. Right? Yeah, so how many... Uh, there's 24 total. 24 total. All right, so there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 19 more. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15... 16, 17, 18, 19. Does it matter if I roll them all at once? Or do I forget. It would just... Because fa fail one... It takes two to kill one anyway. So yeah. So yeah, there's no... I don't think there's any bleed over I don't think so matters. either. Yeah. All right, so that's one fail, two fail, three... F that's three. So uh, one dies, two dies. Holy hell. All right, well, yeah. good thing I got five more attacks. Take the one out. power fist. I'll take... Oh, actually, yeah, okay, you know what? Mm. That is insane. Yeah, I guess, did I just give it, did I just take it away? Like, that's, that's, yeah. <laughs> that's I mean, it's going to, it's going to, it's grass later. All right. And then, power fist, so these will be threes, you're only ones. So, one miss. Mm-hmm. Do it again. Oof. Good. One wound. <laughs> that's nice. a, doesn't matter. All right, uh, so I get my attacks back. Yep, so it's, what, two each? Yep, uh, so four attacks hitting on twos. Oh, they have minus one to be hit in melee, so it didn't matter. On threes. <laughs> That's really handy, I didn't know they had that. Yeah, sanguinary guard minus one to be hit in melee. Toughness four? Toughness four. All right, so four is uh, three wounds, AP minus two. So this will be four up, so they have two up base. Mm -hmm. So these are two damage each. So, yep, two die. Yeah, that doesn't matter. Boop. All right. So, uh, so leadership? Uh, nothing from me. There. All right. Uh, so these guys lost three. Yep. So that's seven. They're fine. Those guys lost two. They should be fine. Yeah, they're. Can they even fail? Uh, no, not yeah. on the two. I think they're all leadership eight at least. And they. Yeah, they the same. They lost yeah two as well. Yep. All right. Uh, so scoring. At the beginning of turn two for primary. Yeah, I didn't score anything crazy. So I, oh, I you're holding that. You're holding three. Yeah, I get two for oaths. So you're holding three. Yeah, so we're holding the same right now. So it's ten for me. Yep. Uh, 
All right. So we've had some crazy rolls. Yeah, did you see I, I failed, I had three perils of the warp, all with double ones. And and then he just survived a unit <laughs> thing where you got hitting him, which I've never yeah. had anything do. I lost, I failed, I played, yeah. I, I, yeah, I failed three out of 25. Yeah. Three up Between saves. Four, four up saves. Mm -hmm. Four up saves. Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is going to go sideways in a hurry. Uh, well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm still not fully sure what, exactly what I want to do, but yeah. Top. Yeah, this is top of two. This is top of two. Oh, let me get the marker so I can update the thing. I only got ten because he's holding three right there, and I'm holding three. Mhm. Mm no, I only get one for us. Oh no, I get nothing for Oath that turn. Oh really? Yeah, I'm not within the middle. Yeah, you didn't fail the morale character. test. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> and I didn't. Maybe you should have spent those two CP. That's tough. I should have taken a different secondary. This game's a nightmare. It's fine. Uh, I have nine. And I have seven. I got a nice regen. Yep. Uh, mine goes up to ten now. Yep. And I haven't spent any CP. I probably should have run some of those guys. All right. What a nightmare. Uh, I got uh, two points from engage in all fronts because I forgot to do my scramblers. Womp, womp, womp. I am not going to bring my guardians down yet. Twitch, if you watch this game and you play Blood Angels, don't do what I did. <laughs> this was all wrong. You're supposed to go forwards, not sideways. These guys. Let's see. I'm going to have these guys do this for Crystal for two minutes. You start with this one? Yeah. Hold on. Oops. What is going on here? Camera. Uh, all right. So, what's going on with my camera? Let's see here. All right. Well, anyway, um, so let me have my camera again. But So, we have some updates from what's going on. You guys have been watching here. The Space Wolf player uh, is getting pretty brutalized. Yeah, man. No, 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Nid player is getting pretty brutalized by the yeah. Space Wolf player. The Wolves are eating the bugs, man. Yeah. It's not good. He has a few models. He, he's dwindling down. He just tried to shoot the Hive Tyrant. That's some ATVs. There's only one ATV left. Um, but other than that, it's, there's, not, there's not a lot going on. Chris just wasn't an able because I think the real killer was that it looks like the Space Wolf player had some Blade Guard vets inside his Impulsor. Yeah. And they were able to leap out and murder the Exocrine, which Dom was saying it's like Chris doesn't have a way to kill the Thundercab now. Um, or, or really just anything. Um, so it's rough. Yeah. And then I went to, um, so what people saw on stream also mm -hmm. was the Blood Angels, <sighs> the Sanguinary Guard is completely whipped apparently. <laughs> That was crazy. No, now, they didn't whiff. The uh, the space wolf, saved, yeah. or the the um, what's the space? The uh, Eldar Skyweavers rolled like I think he he failed like three, four of invulns out of like twenty five. Yeah. So there you go. I th honestly, I was watching it and I was like, okay, he's got prismatic blur, so they have a three of invuln. And he was like, nope, it's a four up. And I was like, oh man, that's sweet. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> And then I'm trying to find out my camera. Yeah, we can't see Dom's lovely, lovely no, no. models. Camera just stopped working all of a sudden. It's very annoying. But I mean, so the I think this the Space Wolves game is looking rough for the Tyranids. The Blood Angels and Eldar game is just kind of in its infancy. 
Mm-hmm. Um, both players so, are making good moves. So, um, oh, <laughs> Dom, before yeah. I forget, um, I think that the Eldar player was putting two attacks on his Sky Reavers, but then they have three attacks each. So I let him know that. Oh, okay. Um, so some other updates. We have the the other the, one of the Necron players who's playing a horde list. Uh, basically took over the entire board versus Death Guard. He, he's within you know, first turn, three, three-fourths of the board coverage. I was curious to see how that would work out. So that's going back to the Death Guard player. We have an, uh, the Custodes game versus Black Templar. Seems to be a bit of a wash right now. Both have killed a lot, but because of the Blade Guard with Transhuman, it's pretty tough uh, yeah. on the Custodes player. We have another Necron list that's currently beating up Space Wolves pretty pretty badly. Ooh. So that's interesting. And then again, we have the, the Eldar game, which we're going to go back to again. Well, actually, let's switch over to the Nid game real quick. These are these other five are Neg 3D3. One save, so the unit's dead. Cool. The unit dies. You killed a whole unit. Yay! Any interrupts so far? Um, I'm thinking that there will be. Um, I'm going to spend the two command points, and I'm going to interrupt with... Uh... I kind of want to interrupt with the Cyberwolf. How many wounds does he have? Four. Rip in vuln. Nah, it's not worth it. I'm going to... I'm going to save the command points. I don't need to interrupt. Cool. Warriors are going next. Twelve attacks. Fail, 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 fail. And uh, strength four, T4? Yep. Fours, uh, four minus two single damage. Fives. Saved one. So one single damage, and then he dies for the other two. Okay, next charger, uh, the Sanctus, I guess. Then that's all the chargers. Then it goes first choice to you. Yep. Which is going to be the guys on the Aberrant. Sanctus, where you at, buddy? I actually have not had you in combat hardly ever. So four attacks, then he gets two familiar claws, and then one extra. So five attacks to the Sanctus Bio Dagger. And one, two, three. How dare he kill the, the Cyberwolf? Don't try. If I can't win on points, I'll try to take the, the morale victory away. <laughs> Uh, let's see. So the purple dice, the translucent purple, are his familiar claws. Everything's hitting on twos, though. Can I see the secondary sheet for a minute? Absolutely. You got one miss, though. Hitting on twos, right? Yes. And that's the familiar claws, luckily. Familiar claws. Uh, strength four. If it's at the end of the turn. Cool. What's your toughness? Four. So one AP dash, single damage. Yep. And these wound on two. Yes, wounds on twos against vehicles in Titanic. And not vehicle t- or Titanic. So five minus two, two damage. Wait, it wounds on two up against vehicles in Titanic? Uh, against non vehicles. Oh, non vehicles. Okay. I was like, why is a bio dagger wound on a, a twos <laughs> against Titanics? Uh, so these are the minus twos. So I have a, um, I have a four up saves of sixes. Yeah, he's dead. You killed, you killed Yimmy. How do you feel? I, you know, honestly, that's the only thing I was seeking to accomplish this game. So we're okay. in a good place. Okay. Uh, and so I'm gonna I fight. don't think I can pile in to combat at this point. No. And first option to you. Uh, the Inceptor's fighting your character. So. Eek. <sighs> one miss. And one, two, three wounds. T5? Oh, two wounds. AP? Nothing. Uh, one. So Maybe sixes one. followed by fives. Save one out the gate. Yep. And single damage? Yeah. Fail that. He's down to two again. Yay! Maybe I'll kill him next round. So now I'm going to go with the Patriarch, because there's no reason to go with the Abominant next. No. Seven attacks. There really isn't. Four, five, six, seven. And then one. Four for the familiar claws. So the purple dice are his regular attacks. The other ones are his familiar claws. Looking for twos all around. That's a one. He's looking for high number. No. Uh, what's the toughness on the tank? Seven. Seven. Um, Actually, so, I think it's six. 
one AP dash, single damage. Three. Oh, go through. Oh my goodness. And this can built in reroll to wound, but I don't need it. Um, well, actually, you're topping to seven? Six. Six. So, yeah, I'm good done. Um, six minus three D. Yeah. I'm going to pull back with these guys. Okay. Jumping over the lads, going backwards. Yeah. How's your brain moving? Yep, I was just thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> your brain is not a Harlequin. Okay, so she's got a 24 inch range smite. Range. As long as she doesn't roll double ones, that's true. I know. <laughs> Don't I know. I can probably move like that. For her with her being here, she's gonna move back, stay within twenty inches. So she's gonna go up. Yeah, that gives me the uh, the old vertical engagement range. Mm -hmm. Five inches within. An yeah, just off. Yeah, if you get there, you'll be within. All right. Um, she's gonna be within eighteen, correct? That's within eighteen right there. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't know if you're within 18 going that way. Oh, though. no, they're not in 18. Oh, crap. Right. Like <laughs> this guy. He's right there. He's well within 24 there. Your target at Smites are like 18, right? Yes. Okay. So that's going to shuffle over here. If you guys are within three inches, he is not. Okay. So if you want to shoot him, that's perfectly fine. Shuffle around here. Yvrain is as well. Uh, Yvrain is uh, right here. Yvrain is his now. Okay. We're going to start with casting start by casting let's see um, uh, we'll start with 18 so we'll start casting Veil of Tears on them okay this might be a bad idea yep oh, goes off okay that's from the the all black one, right? That's from the wounded one. Oh, okay. She has Veil of Tears and Twilight Pathways. Gotcha. Um, and then she's going to come ask Smite, which is her second one, which is the 24 inch range, because I. You uh, have this relic, right? Yep. yep. That's caught. Yep. That's it. Right nine, so D3. So it hits where? Them. Okay. Yep. Three mortal wounds. So one dies. And one takes one. Actually, I'm going to do that a slightly different way. This one dies. Mm -hmm. And this one takes one. Yeah, I think that should take me out of range here. 18 inches, yep, out of range there, which is fine. I think I'm out there too. All right. There's nothing there they can cast. That's perfectly acceptable. Uh, he isn't going to cast anything. Um, so we're that's the end of my psychic phase. Okay. Um, shooting phase. Start with this guy is going to shoot. Uh, Death Jester is going to shoot the blue squad. Okay. Hitting on twos, all hit. Wounding on fours. That is two wounds. On. No, uh, were you minus one for them? I'd oh, he's out. Yep, no, you're yeah. good. Um, minus one, so... Oh, no minuses. No oh, minuses. no minuses. Just one okay. damage. Yeah, one damage. Oh, one takes one. Wound, but they are going to be oh, pinned. So feel, feel no pain. Yep. Okay. 
So that's minus one to their move, yep. minus two to their movement. So, so they're just twelve move boys. Yeah, normal. and I think it affect, should affect your charge as well. Does it? Let me double. That might, that might be something I need to check on your turn. Okay. Because yeah. it's just minus two to the move, but that's an interesting question. Um. On the cruelty. Move characteristics if it's modeled. Oh, okay. So yeah, we're okay. Yeah. All right. Let's see, how many units are left in this Sanguinary Guard squad? Five, it Five should be. Them. Yeah. Uh, so firing Haywire at them from these guys. Yep. Eight shots. Yep. Is this going to be minus one to hit? What's up? Uh, is this minus one to hit? No, no they just hit normally. Yeah, right. they have a one-up save right now, but... Okay. Because they're on their own. Right. Use math. Uh, wounding on fours. I think sixes are one mortal wound. I don't. I think that's only vehicles, isn't it? That's an interesting question. Uh, um. Yeah, if it's a vehicle, take it to do. Yeah. So yep. they're not so vehicles. <laughs> so just one regular AP minus one save. So, so two, two Good. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, these pistols firing at them. Okay. So with these guys. Right, because. They're like touching the cover. I don't know, like what degree of. <laughs> yeah, I was wondering that too. Yeah. I six. I know, like ye olden ITC rules, like touching it, you get your save. If not, I mean, I could just take mm -hmm. it on these guys that are in the cover. So. Well, I'll yeah, that. yeah, that's right. Yeah, you can just do that. All right. Yeah. So pistol shots. Yes. Ah, uh, no wounds. Okay. Um. Uh, over here, okay. five d six into the impulsor. Yep. Hurt me. Oh, uh, I'm gonna spend. Oh, actually, I declare that in a minute. All right. If I take mortals, I declare it. Eighteen. You probably are. That's twenty twenty three shots. Yep. <laughs> There's mortals in my future. Just let me see how many CP that stratagem is. Let me just make sure it's not declared when I'm targeted. Ten. All right. Um, because I would have obviously. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 17, 20, 20. Uh, Where is that stratagem? Yes, yeah, one CP. Would lose a wound as a result of a mortal okay. wound. So I have to take the mortals before I'm like, oh yes, I'm doing this. All right, so hitting on threes. Yeah, there was one there, yeah. Is mortals, did I miss one? Uh, yeah, that's... Well, it was like that. Oh, was it rolled? Okay. Yeah. I just saw one with like. Wait. No, that's fine. <laughs> fine. They're the the finest marksmen in the galaxy. All right. Uh, so the, these are gonna be the D threes. It's fives and sixes for D three. No, just uh, six is a D three. Four plus is one mortal wound. So okay. Four. So yeah, I'm, gonna and then I'm gonna spend one and give myself a five up against those. Do I steal it? I do. Okay. <laughs> All right, and then these are gonna be D three. So three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mortals. Good. I got to eleven command points. You getting clowned on, man. Uh, five up. So I pass. Four. Four. Wins. So I have that was eleven. So I have four wins left. <laughs> okay. Great. All right, I. Uh, ready to declare a charge. Yep. Um, Am I too close to this? Did I bump this before? You should be within three inches of the other yeah. guys, too. With No, they didn't come out of there. I was just saying I the know. goal with this was to be only three. That's fine. Be within three inches of that? I think I bumped it, but it's fine. Oh, okay, you should be fine. I'm not about moving stuff yeah. now. It's real sketchy, so I'm <laughs> just not instead. Don't worry about it. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and clear a charge with these guys into them. They can always fall back in charge. That's one of the yep. Harlequin things. Yep, mm -hmm. go for it. Uh, yeah, I can't, I'm overwatching you as a meme, so. You did it. Yeah. Here. Here. Uh, and then I'm going to have these guys declare a charge. Yep. Let's go ahead and see the distance. What's the rule that lets them? Cool. They're all in engagement range. That's all my charges. Um, I'm going to spend a command point for their, their Hammer of Wrath stratagem. Yep. Down to five. 
Uh, so on a two-up, you take a mortal wound for each model. So that's three mortal wounds, which kills a dude. Kills the one guy, and one guy has two wounds left. And then spending the other command point for the wolf guard over there that are going to do the, the killy strat so I can kill that dude. And that's um, five plus four plus four plus four plus four because they're fighting first. Even though the command points interrupt anyways, so. Correct. Hitting on twos. And this is also turn three, so I have uh, Savage Echoes. Yep. So I have three extra attacks there for hitting three sixes. Yep. And these are strength five. The, um, uh, T6 on him. So fives to wound, sixes mortal. One, two, three mortals, plus one, two... Oh, four mortals. Sorry, four mortals. And that is eight total saves with four mortal wounds automatically. All right, so I'll roll the field no pains on the mortals real quick. Fives, save two. So, so two mortal wounds. That kill. Two goes through on the big good dude, so he's down to three. Yep. And are any of these attacks, like, big damage? They're all two damage. All two damage. And they're all AP minus four because we're in turn three. Okay, so what I'm going to do is kill both familiars. That's so that's two. two attacks gone. And then there's six left. Six left. Because he's going to die either way otherwise. So um, five up. I save one, two, three. So he takes six damage. And that's going to kill him because he only has three left. That puts me to 15 assassinate and 15 abhor the witch. Yep, yep. And it's going to put me up at three oaths because I'm not going to fail any morale test at this point. Yeah, I got that one. Okay. All right, so I'm going to be wounding you on twos. Yep, you'll be hitting me on fours. Fours, yep. Yeah. Mm. So I'm going to activate this squad first. Okay. So that's seven times five is 35 attacks. Yep. God, they have five each. That's crazy. They have four yeah. base and plus one because stars. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Woo! Five. Uh, six. And I'll just re-roll one after this. Yeah, you just add Five one more. more add more at the end of it. If oh. I live. <laughs> four is miss. A uh, four is hit. Yeah, four is hit. That's the cutoff. Mm -hmm. uh, and then five more. Yep. I wound you on twos. Yeah, this is going to hurt. It's AP what? Minus two. Minus two. Those would be four ups. Oop, I picked up a two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. These are damage two. Damage two, yep. How many? Eighteen. Eighteen. Twelve. One, six more. Alright, let's see if I could do what your uh what your bikes did. Yep. <laughs> um this is AP two, you said? AP months two. So four ups. Probably a dead squad. That's a dead squad off dice I can see. One, two, right. three, four, five, six. Yeah, they're dead. All right. That was a pretty good roll. Yeah. It was wasted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I will make them be less. That is Sanger's dead, and that will keep yep. me to five on the primary. Are you doing any consolidate piling stuff over nope. here? Uh, just yeah, because nobody else can really consolidate, so they're just going to stay put. Okay. Uh, so that will be the end of my turn. Okay. Okay. All, right. All right, so your command phase. Command phase, I get one. I move into the tactical doctrine at the top of the turn, not that that matters, really. Um... I'm like terrified of this more than I probably should be. Um, I don't think I shot with these guys last turn, which was probably. No, you didn't. Yeah. I don't think there was anything they really could have shot. Though. They might be able to shoot that squad. Maybe. I don't think it really made a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. All right. So it falls on me. Yeah, we gotta start making some progress. All right. So, um, 
the Sanguinary Priest, I'll put the blue unit into Assault Doctrine. Okay. Um, and then... Range. Okay, all sorts of in it. Okay, so um, am I putting anything into all the doctrines? I don't believe I am. Am I? Oh, uh, first oh. roll. I forgot to do my scoring. I engage roll front. Yep. So, so I guess it'll be another yeah four two, four, two another points. two points. Yep. And those guys avoid scramblers. So you have one one tick. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So. Uh, coming out of the blade guard. So, two inches off this thing is like here. Mm -hmm. I just have to be behind this line. And I think it should be within three of the side. All right, guys, so we're going to provide some quick commentary here based on what I just saw walking around. All right, so in the first stream game, as you recall, we have Space Wolves fighting Nids. It's turn three right now. The Nids, Nids just went to turn three. Space Wolves just scored. They only scored five points in the primary, bringing them up to 10 and five, but he just scored 30 points on the secondary. Um. Yeah, you heard that right. 30 points in the secondary. What happened was he split fire eradicators and killed something like five characters all at once. And three of those were psychers, which means he got a whore the witch as well. So, so you got he got 30 uh, points it's in pretty brutal right now. He got 30 it's points pretty, in one, uh, one turn, Dom. That's, that's pretty rough. That's insane. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. Well, wow. 30 points in one turn. Yeah. Those nids are fine. And then, um, so what, so what did you see in the Eldar game? So it's like, the, like got some I mean, as, as, as we just saw the, um, the Eldar player got some troops across the board, probably off of Twilight Pathways and was able to scoop like a squad of, I believe it was probably the Sanguinary Guard because he charged what was, um, fighting the Sky Reavers from the previous turn, which was Sanguinary Guard. And it looks like he popped a couple of straps yeah. on them to give them plus one to wound and plus one damage. So they scooped those Marines and cleared off that objective. So um, he's really like exerting, he's holding his backfield objective, the Eldar player, and the Space Wolf player, mm -hmm. or the um, Blood Angels player doesn't have, doesn't look like he has a lot of options to get over there and contest that stuff. And he's right. continually pushing um, the Blood Angel player's um, right hand deployment zone objective. Well, let's, so he's, um, he's winning on primary at that rate. Let me move. Auto hit eight, auto hit four, seven, ten, twelve. I don't want to go that far. I guess this is the real question. Can they hit? Oh, I can't take that back now. It's too late. I can't it inside of it. Uh, so 16 is like in step with the blade guard. They're not even moving the pole. They're going like 14. <laughs> okay. Still more than 12. Yeah. All right. So that's that. And uh, these guys move 12 now, right? And mm -hmm. so, which is there. Some troops with his Harlequin players yep, on the bottom right objective, and now the Space Wolf player is making a big, ooh, making a big, big push to get onto the Harlequin player's home objectives. Is Dom is back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, it's just stupid web browser no, refresh or whatever. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, so they're, they're doing like a yin yang thing. Ten, I mean, they're, they're, they're threatening ten to them within ten, corner objectives okay, it's not... with their with their units. Um, it's not awful. So it's it's interesting. I'd be interested to know Where's what the, the primary team? score is. He's right here. Um, well, I know that. Like... Here. It, He's right uh, so, okay. so yeah, that was the Sam scored ten so he would be in, in the first turn, and, and I thought he That's scored. Kind of they should be ten ten. Ten ten. Okay. Yeah, because he had they, they each had three. Because I mean now now this is looking like the Blood Angel player is going to get a big big swing into the Eldar player because he looks like he's got Inceptors and Blade Guard on the left side, and the Inceptors can do a number on the Skyweavers if they roll well, and the Blade Guard can charge on that objective on the top left. Okay, so it's an eight. And he's got the right hand side. He's got his Sangard pushing up to threaten the the right objective. So if all these charges go off, he could really hold. Um, Sam to, to a low primary score this turn. Like, big time. I'm just seeing where he's putting those sanguinary guard. Oh, so he's going to move them forward. The plan. Like they're, they're talking some stuff out, which is yeah. always fun to see. Yeah, I mean, he's going to... if Those sanguinary guard, the fact that they didn't do any wounds to the the Skyweavers in turn one, that's not going to happen again. Sam's no. not going to get that lucky. No. The Skyweavers are probably going to die. Um, and the Inceptors are... Where, the, the Inceptors haven't come down yet. No, they have. They're in the middle. Um, on the oh, I there. see. I see. Okay. They're with the Blade Guard. And they're going to yeah. be able to, to put the punch those... Uh, no, nah, not punch. Shoot those Skyweavers um, right. in a big, bad way. <laughs> Correct. The Blade Guard are going to make their charge, I'm sure. Looks like a... Eh, it's about an eight-inch charge, it looks like. But with Blood Angels getting plus one. And the Sanguinary Priest is probably with the Sanguinary Guard, which means... They're going to have to fill up pain. Yeah. Because the, the, well, the well, also the Sanguinary Priest has the Icon of the Angel. So that's going to give everything within three inches of him re-rolling any or all the charge dice. Actually, I'm not sure if it's still any or all the charge dice. It was... I think they, they were talking about that earlier, and I think it is. Okay. He's going to do the same thing. He's going to go just a little Yeah, this is what it was looking like a pretty decent game for the Eldar players. Looking, oh, okay. It's I'm looking... The, he, he, this is the big turn oh, for Blood okay. Angels, right? I mean, Eldar still has the Guardian Bomb in reserves. Um, right. But it looks like he's going to scoop a bunch of Eldar stuff and take some right. objectives. Right. Because those bikes, they have a lot of wounds, but those Plasma Inceptors, I mean, they're going to do so much damage. Because they get plus one to hit. Um... Which will offset the minus one to hit, and they can overcharge. So, two failed saves is a dead bike. Right. I mean, I'm not sure if Sam has any. Um... Well, and Dante's going to be nearby too. So Dante's, I guess, I assume Dante's with the Sanguinary Guard because I don't see him over over on the left. Okay. It's yeah. That's just all big base, big big boys over there. <laughs> yeah. So I guess he's trying to measure auras right now. So, movement, yeah, and if if this goes, this could be a pretty this right. could be a pretty brutal turn Shooting. for yeah. angels if this pops off. Right. So let's move. Well, we're gonna go back to okay. the Nid Space Wolf game. So, see how that's going with that massive, uh, right. just, there, just yep. massive score that he got in, in turn turn mm -hmm. on the secondaries. At minus nine fifteen, with no command points. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven, eight, nine for the leader. And then I also get four cult blade attacks. I do the four cult blade attacks first. Cult blades. Three hits. Uh, no wounds. Any other ones? And so one, I mean, you're at Storm Shield, but one neg four, one neg one. Neg one goes through, neg four goes through. Two damage. Woo! All right. Morale. Ah! They fail. Two. One guy runs away, and on twos, uh, more guys run away. So <laughs> One is left. One guy's left. Or unless you want one over here or something, you know. Makes no difference to me. Yeah, they're outside of the objective range anyways, so. That's turn three for you. Woo! Right? Yep. I scored three points for Oaths because I did fall back. Might I see the Markador? Yep. So I'm going to get uh, Engage again? Because uh, I'm in four quarters. Yes, you are. No, uh, yeah, because you got those guys. I forgot mm -hmm. about them. 
but I botched scramblers, which may cost me 10 points, which sucks. It's going to cost you 10 points, because I'm going to kill the guys in the middle of the board. I'm going to table you this turn. That's likely. I mean, it's more than likely you've got one guy that I'm going to melt up, and then these five guys fold, and those five guys fold. The only thing I'm worried about is that Keller Morph, but I'm going to I'm gonna probably jump on him with the priest. Likely. So litanies, charge litany, goes off. Excitation of Rage on himself, goes off. He's plus one to wound. Um... I don't get a command point because my warlord's dead. They're standing still. He's going to advance so he can be within six inches of the center board. Actually, he doesn't have to because he only has to move six inches there, and he's within six of the center board. And he can shoot at those guys. That's cool. Um, All right, guys. So here we are talking about this uh, Space Wolf versus Nid game. As we mentioned earlier, the Space Wolf had a massive turn, two in terms of getting... 30 secondary points, as you see there. They got 15 assassinate, 15 to pour the witch. They got seven for oaths. They're probably going to get three more for oaths this turn. Um, and I think it's Space Wolf turn four because I see those blade guard moving. So I, um, yeah, it's just going to be it's just going to be brutal. Yeah, I think I mean I think the Space Wolf player is in mop up mode right now. Yeah, um, he only got he only got five primary points last turn, but the fact that what well, what do we see here? We see we see. Two units of Actually, of of genes to their cult dudes. dudes I see I, I see one one by those blade guard veterans. I see oh in the, the forest there it looks like a sniper or something or some kind of uh, no. sanctus probably. Yeah, and then we have five other little dudes behind the cargo with cargo containers. Uh, it looks like the unit of 20, 20 uh, little gene stealer dudes are no longer there. Yeah, the, the mics. Yeah, the mics are low right now because we're talking. And not moving. So we Dom, Dom and I were just saying that it's like I don't think it doesn't look like Chris has done any damage since yeah. his first turn to this army because it's like, right? I mean, the impulsor is dead. Uh, yeah, it's pretty yeah. brutal. But I mean, like, it's just it's rough city, dude. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna. Such a waste, but you know we're what? gonna go to the pure game audio and, and let them see what's going on. <laughs> look at that. Yeah. Four, do seven, ten, All right, guys, seven. we're going back to the just pure stream audio. And there is an AP. AP two. Huh. Sixes and they're dead. Yeah, I yeah, figured, but you know. Um, so multi melt and ABR into your Keller morph. Yep. Multi melt both hit. Multi melt both wound. All right, four up invuln. Because plus one for the cult creed and he has a five up naturally. Yep. Fail both. He takes. Seven, eight, nine. Super kills him. Ten, eleven damage. And um, two shots from there into your into your other unit of five next to the blade guard vets. One hit. No wounds. Blade guard vets. Five pistols. Threes. And threes. Two at neg one. Actually, neg two because we're in assault doctrine. Uh, six up invul. Um, two so die. Two will drop, and that's over here. Yep. I'm gonna fire all my meltas into the lector. You are neg one because it's just a lector. So I hit on fours, which is fine because I hit four of them. And I wound three oh of them. Oh my goodness, he's gonna die. You have an envy? No. Okay. <laughs> he takes um. Save, he takes twenty-seven damage. Yeah. I rolled three fives. Twenty-seven damage. Uh, he's going to double fire into those guys. Two, two wounds at nag zero on these guys. Uh, save none. So, off the front or the back? Uh, just not the rock saw. I don't care who otherwise. Okay. Come on. There we go. Um, that's all my shooting. Um, I'm going to charge the blade yard vets into the three guys there. They hit with a six. He's going to charge there. He hits with a seven. Uh, the eradicated will charge, I guess, on the same guys. They're going to... Uh, you know what? I'm going to command point that because I have nothing else to do. May as well. <laughs> Twelve! <laughs> They're like, we're, we're angry, boys. We're going to... We just wiped an entire, like, everything out. And we're just going to go ahead and kill everything now. You know what? For the 12-inch charge, they get to fight first. Go, go, first fight. 
they have a stupidly low amount of attacks each because they're they don't care. Oh, they have two base attacks each. Plus the sergeant has three, so three, 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 and four. Hitting on twos, exploding sixes. <laughs> wow. So they got four exploding sixes. And they wound on threes because you're small toughness. Mm-hmm. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine at neg one for huh. assault doctrine. Yeah. Yay! The eradicators killed something in melee combat. Yes. And it's, a, uh, it's an effective hundred forty points spent. Yeah, three, three, three. Or twenty, sorry. Three. Oh, it's actually four, 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 four. Whoops. So that's. Come on, Blade Guard Vats. Can you do it? Four and. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it does. Uh, so I'm, I missed one, but one, two, three, four, five uh, exploding. Yes. Is this three or four? This is turn four. Yeah. Fifteen. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to get three more, though. Yeah, but... Uh, no, I totally botched that and shot with the... <laughs> 17, 17 saves. The reason why I say I'm about to score it again is because those are the last models on the board. Oh, and, and him. So, 17 saves. Ooh, he's dead. Yeah, they're dead. And then you get to fight here, and then I get to bite you. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Three attacks, I hit twice, and I wound once, and then he also has the cult blade. He hits. I saved with the one, first one. I saved. That. And first set of bites. It wounds. Yeah, save it. Second set of bites. They wound. Ha! He's dead. Oh, he did pretty good on the saves. That's yeah, table. That is a tabling. That is 100, 100 points. Wow. Bark, bark. Um, I got two, yeah, for engage. Yep. Correct. I, uh, was hoping to have a last turn gambit, but it did not work out well when the Eradicators picked up a bunch of stuff. Yeah, the Eradicators split-fired and killed two characters. And we're both bad already, so that's 10 points each. Uh, <laughs> oh, you're just giving it to everybody? Just to make because 100 easier than 90. That's why, that's why I always did it. Where's my scorecard? Woo! Much bork. This wolves! He killed my cyber wolf, though, so that's a moral victory. Yep, sure. Cool. Ah. GG guys who are watching, that was a brutal Space Wolf win. Indeed. Um, I tabled him on the end of turn four. Uh, the mics for the Space Wolf players and nids are super low. I guess he'll, um, yeah, he'll um, adjust Start that. Turn four. But it's, it's, the, it's the, the masks, that we're all wearing masks. Indeed. That was just a stunning display of face wolf brutal savagery on on a bunch of angry buggos. There was uh there was much much uh squishing of the uh, the bugs. Much dead bugs. My my lizard will be happy. <laughs> Lumaya will be very happy. I killed a bunch of bugs. Although she will be sad because she doesn't get to eat them. That's a good point. I mean the bu the bugs were hoping to do some eating, but you know what? Not every day. On this day, my children go hungry. Well, I mean, are, are bugs really going to eat wolves? I mean... Unless they're already dead. I mean, like, IRL. <laughs> IRL bugs are not going to eat wolves unless they're ba already dead or they're a super parasitic species that that is too small for the wolves to bite. <laughs> most dogs have worms. Well, not most, but... <laughs> <laughs> There's your moral victory.
I may have lost, but you have won. <laughs> Uh, did I leave any models on the table? I feel like I'm missing one alkalite hybrid, but I may have just put it in a different case. You might have just put it in a different case. Not sure. Either way, I've got a ton of them. Yeah. Don't want to lose any, but you do you can get hits, though, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, just making sure. I don't want to scam. Mm -hmm. Um. So. Actually, the. Yeah. 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 Okay. So you're good. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. These. How many wins does he have? He has five. You're not minus one to be hit in melee or anything crazy like that. I'm not. I'm minus one to be wounded. Which I counteract with plus one to wound. Okay. So, yeah, it's just, just like we're on, we're on strength versus toughness here. <laughs> yep. Um, so I'm going to pile in. Mm -hmm. So these guys are going to just... I'm magnetizing to the objective. <laughs> so just give me a sec. I'm going to move them basically just so that they can all swing. All right. Okay. So um, these two Sangers are going to go into the Troop Master. Okay. The... These two Sangers mm -hmm. are going to go into this Troop Master. Mm -hmm. I mean, this Shadow Seer. Shadow Seer, yep. And then this Sanger is going to go into your brain. All right. The rest of the squad goes into the troops. Okay. Because I don't think I can physically swing. Yeah, it's two, two, one. Yeah. So uh, I'll do the. I mean, I'm just going to go this way. So mm -hmm. the five that are going into uh, your brain. What's her defensive stat? She just. Uh, I think she's got a four up. Okay. So this should do the, do the job. Yeah. And you aren't minus one to wound him. Oh, okay, yeah, so she... So this is, uh... Yep, so this will be twos, you're rolling. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll hit, and then twos, you're rolling ones. Mm-hmm. And the lieutenant. So five, two damage wounds into her. All right. She dies. Yeah, she dies. And then the ten attacks. One, two, three. Uh, this is ten attacks into the Shadow Seer. Yeah. So, two your rolling ones. All hit. Yep. And then... You should be wounding on threes now. Yeah, this would be threes, because they're minus one to wound, right? Mm -hmm. So, shield from harm. Threes your rolling ones. Okay, mm -hmm. so... That is seven. Seven. Mm, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops. I see two, three. Uh, one, two. Yep. Three. three, just enough. Yep. And then the shadows. The this is the minus six inch range one, in case you were wondering. Ah, well, that's nice. Mm hmm. You know, for all my shooting that killed itself this turn. Yep. <laughs> all right, and then um, the. Troop Master? Troop Master, yeah, 10 again. So twos, you're only ones. So I'll hit, mm -hmm. and then this is just threes again, right? Because there's yep. another yep. shadow here. <laughs> Alrighty. And we're rolling ones. Ten. Alright. Uh, so the Inceptors shot with Overcharged, uh -huh. and then because they are just not very fortunate gentlemen in this place, <laughs> they rolled a low shot count, and even on that low shot count, they manage to blow themselves up. And every time you roll a one with the overcharged plasma, yeah, they just explode. Dies. So. <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, more of my guys died than his in my shooting phase. All right, so ten saves here. Ten saves on the troop master. Four plus. So that's one, two, Dead. three. Yep, yep. So no worth. Not used to using a CP on that one. And then it'll be. It'll be a. Uh, so those, so it's just so one five Sanger song. So three Sangers into that last troop unit. Okay. So this is one. Uh, these are last. This is actually kind of important. Uh, well, yes, this is important. So they'll be hitting on threes here. Okay. This this set will be hitting on threes. You're rolling everything because this is the fifth, and then I'll have one more sword into that. Okay. Yes. Uh, top of two. Nope. Top bottom of two. two. Yeah. You went first. I forget that. Yeah. So. Uh, I have seven. Uh, I think I bumped this. Uh, I am at seven also. I thought you spent one for the reroll. Oh, yes, that's correct, yep. I was over there when I did it, so I forgot no, that's to take fine. down there. <laughs> you got five. I got five, yep. Well, I had two, but this is a two-three mission. Yeah. So this is uh, three, three rolling ones. Yeah, I didn't realize that until halfway, and I was like, oh, no. 
so uh, that's a. Uh, I did not. Mm. Uh, I I didn't get first engaged. I only held one of my opponent's deployment. Uh, oh yeah, I got my second engage. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, it's four total. Um, so you're looking at uh six saves. Right. And then it'll be the five swords. Four plus. Wow. Oof. Uh, so five die. And then five more attacks. Two's rolling, all hit. And then three's rolling ones. So four more. Mm. Oh, that was the fist for twos. That's okay. Uh, uh, three, three more die. die. That's the squad? No, there's one guy left. Ah! It's going to take you out of fighting range, though. All right. Uh, are you interrupting? I am. I'm going to spend two CP to interrupt over here. Okay. Five. I'm also going to spend another two CP to up my damage. Can you do that on a turn you didn't charge? Well, that is a good question. Let's find out. Just because the names yep. suggest... Yeah, who would think so, wouldn't it? It says, use a stratagem in the fight phase. The first time a Harlequin's unit from your army is selected to fight that phase. So the end of the phase... Oh, yeah, it's just during the phase, yeah. Yep, so I'm four, so these guys are going to go over here. Yep, let's Pardon see me. Oh, yep, go for it. I think I only get plus one when I charge attack. Yeah, the Frozen yeah. Stars is just like your offense. That's just right. four attacks from... Yep. Five guys, so 20 attacks. Yep. Three. You get minus one to hit. All right. Four. Five. All right, so hitting you. On fours. I got a cocked one in there. Yeah. I want to move. And wounding you on threes. Uh, threes, yep. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? Eight minus two. So this is eight four ups. Mm hmm. Uh, he's got five wounds, so we need some luck. Oh my. He lives. Okay. Down to his last wound. wound. Last gasp, Dante. Alright, so I am going to activate him next. Okay. Uh, the activation order is kind of a meme from here. I'm just going to I know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he has six attack space, seven because he charged. Uh, he's going to swing at the bikes. Yeah. So, yeah, because the bikes can kill him. And I don't. Yep. Dying is typically bad. Um, so this will be hitting on twos. Mm -hmm. One miss. And then he will wound them on twos, because he's strength seven with right. plus one to wound. So, all of them. Uh, nope, not that one. So, just six. Six. And six, how much damage? No, five. Missed one, missed one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, damage, uh, two flat. Uh, they okay, did. they all go through, yeah. So, it's going to kill them. I have a fucking sanguinary guard hiding out in here. Oop, language. My bad, stream. Yes, frickin' one. Frickin' right. what's one next? frickin' sanguinary guard. All right, um, so the, I guess the lieutenant will activate and heat up this guy by being close to that guy? Is that how that works? No, you have to so be with here. Him. Oh, God, can he do that even? Can you measure that? I'm like, I don't know if the, the old Tokyo Drift will I get me. Well, you kind of have to go around. That's what I'm saying. Well, get me within an inch is the question. That is the question. My ruler's a little smaller, so it might be easier. Yeah, I think it'll get you within an inch. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you're you're the person that that would impact negatively, yeah. so if you say it's cool. I don't worry about it. So I'm going to swing on threes. Uh, I'm going to wound on twos normally now, because he's strength eight. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, so this will be, uh, he has four attacks, yep. Hitting on threes. Hit and twos. Uh, threes? Yeah, he's got a thunder hammer. Yeah, but it would it's minus one to the wound roll. No, so I'm strength. Oh eight. right, you plus, plus one. one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Wound on twos. Two. Nice. All right. I'm not gonna spend my two CP real quick. Yeah, I have obsec over there anyway. Yeah, these guys are obsec. Yep. Yeah. Because of okay. the that guy. Yeah. yeah. All right, so he'll just consolidate by tucking his butt into there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, we'll go here. The sanguinary ancient. So he'll have. Five attacks. This will be 
uh, just threes. So three hits, and he'll be uh, probably threes to win. Uh, I'm assuming that's in range. Yeah, there's almost no world where it's not. Yeah, yeah okay. So especially three. with the shadow stone. Yep. Uh, just one. Saved. And the priest has six attacks. This is twos. Right. So that hits. And uh, this is strength four plus one minus one, so threes. Mm -hmm. All right. Just roll like a bad three, two wins. Six one. Six one. I think this should drop him down to three. Uh no, he's got four. He's Just got roll five poorly, dude. That uh, that'll get you. All right. Um, blade guard. Mhm. Mm They're more attacks than any unit should have. They're four each, and then five for the sergeant. So. Mhm. Mm I say that we both have units with more attacks than. I know, really. So, and then five from the sergeant. This will be hitting on threes, winning on twos. Alright, and uh, looking for twos, because there's no shadows here over there. Mm -hmm. The bane of my existence, that model <laughs> is today. And minus. So that is a bundle of saves. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Eleven. Alright, so this should be eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, four plus saves. So it kills one, two, three, four, five, six. That'll kill the squad. All right. Judas here. Judas here is five on the chart. No. Judas here is five on the chart. Yes. So this is hitting on twos from the Judas here into that squad. Mm -hmm. uh, six is to wound do mortals. So. Okay. You just missed. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, it hits on twos. That's annoying. Yep. And I then expect that wounds on twos. Yeah. No mortals? So two wounds. No mortals. Two wounds. One dies. One dies. Uh, let me just consolidate them. Not that this matters too, too much. Well, it's debatable which one is close. Is it? Do you do the closest... Consolidate on it's based the model. on the model, yeah. So it's like he pops through, and then yeah. these guys will just like do one of these. Uh, he's probably closest there, so I'm just gonna leave him still. This guy is gonna just end up closer, and he'll just pop through to be like under here. Yep, that's fine. Boop. Alrighty. Yep. So they should be. Oh, actually. You know what? I have to do that differently. Cause oh no, I'm fine. I have other stuff in your. All right, this is gonna require a little bit of assistance from you. Just I just need to make sure I have two units mm -hmm. in your deployment zone. <laughs> yep. Well, I just think I may have misplayed one of my rules. Oh well. So the lieutenant just gonna do that. The sangers have slid forward a bit. Mm-hmm. Because they're consolidate. There was nothing in front of them afterwards. So they'll just keep him safe. And then so the lieutenant is in the back the back line. Mm -hmm. And then over here. These lads just consolidate such that they're fully within. And then that's like that. Okay. So yeah, that'll get me my, my two units. Mm-hmm. What did you miss miss run? Well that's what I said. I need to look it up. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll go ahead and do my attacks back now. Yeah, yeah, swing at me. Oh, yeah, you can just yeah. jump over me. <laughs> yeah. They can do that in the combat phase? Oh, it's just always, right? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically. Yeah. And which weapons are those ones again? Kisses. They're oh. going to send them all at the Jesus here. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna spend one to Judas to 
Wait, kiss is what? Strength? Uh, AP minus one, uh, uh, strength, so it'd be strength four, D3 damage. Okay. Yep, yep, go ahead. He has a four pin wall in melee, so. Oh no, it doesn't matter. I have three, three up armor saves. So. Oh, four, yeah. five, Yeah, my positioning should have kept you off that objective, and that was really the only thing I cared about. <laughs> yeah. Should DP you to the young hold two on your turn. Mm-hmm. Ah, uh, forced wound? Yep. Just a million? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, <laughs> eight, nine, ten. Then he said, whoop. Yep. All right, can we just be a god with the four ups twice? Uh, yeah. Three up base, yep, four ups. Probably not. So, ah. So, five wounds get through. He's dead if unless you, no, he's dead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, he's dead unless you brick, and then, that's not how that works. He's just dead. Oh. Um, Insert holy music here. Yeah. Rest in peace, Judas here. All right, uh, and then uh, that guy's gonna fight. Yep. He gets the swing. That is that's part of the rules. Okay, thank God. Oh, thank God. Okay. I thought I'd screwed you over over there because I thought for a second that my um, bikes couldn't advance and charge. Oh, or but no, I was right. Advance it's and rising, yeah, it's rising crescendo. Yeah, what's it? It's it's advance and yeah, fall back, can right? advance and charge on the same turn. They they can just do all the stuff. Yeah, it's like they can fall back and still shoot. Yeah, they can fall back and uh, so, whatever. So yeah. story time ways back, I had gotten confused and had in another game had advanced and shot. You cannot advance and shoot. You can advance and charge. You can yes. fall back and shoot. Yeah, okay, and I gotcha. advanced and shot, and it turned out to be a whole big deal because it was in the middle. It got me an extra point in the old school I'd see. All right. Yeah, so I'm going to smack your banner. Okay. Uh, am I hitting on two? I'm assuming you have no AP. You're minus one to I, hit. Okay. Because he's uh, a sanguinary man. Yep, and I still hit you on twos. So the two misses, yep. yeah. Uh, the fives, one wound, no AP. Two up. Two ah! Six up. He's fine. Ah. <laughs> Can't you let me have nice things? Just the one. All right, so in my turn, that's a four-point Oaths of Moment turn. Because mm -hmm. I... And you killed two psychic characters? Yes, so that's ten for Abhor. Mm -hmm. so ten. And then that's four for Oath and four for Linebreaker. And I got five for Primary. All right, uh, my turn, I'm only holding... I'm holding two objectives? Yeah, you have two. So, so you'll, you'll get, you'll five, get five. Yep. So now for the part that I was worried about. So uh, my, my blade guard are tagged here, yeah? Yeah, they're currently okay. tagged. I mean, they probably won't be for much longer, but... I imagine. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, oh. between the two of us being upset about what we did at different parts, it's actually close. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I... I probably should have tried to pull back a little bit harder there. Yeah. The um, the charge ends up being, like, accidentally very reliable. Mm-hmm. No, that's fine. Yeah. I mean, it was one of those things I kind of got greedy, and I thought my... I didn't realize Dude, how did good those thing. guys would do at killing the Sanguinary Guard. If I'd known that, yeah, I, wouldn't have, them. I wouldn't have moved my Psychers so far forward, because that was a reckless move on my part. Those Harlequin Troop units are just bananas if they get in. Yeah. They just have to make contact. Once they're in, it's like, oh, man... Oh, this guy's gonna go forward for two. So all of the sanguinary guards should be near the crate to get plus one to their save. I don't mm -hmm. know, because I mean I don't think it's gonna make a huge difference. It's not, but it's just a plus one thing. Uh, I'm gonna have a, her advance. Yep. Shot. She's moving twelve. <laughs> thirteen. He's moving. She's moving thirteen. Oh, her base is uh, eight. Uh, right. Well, I ignored the terrain. Right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, her base, base is eight. eight. So eight plus I might five actually, first of all, I go up to four command points. Yeah, start in the command phase. <laughs> I might actually... Uh, yeah, you're 17 from that. So. Well, that's the question about whether I want to, with being 17 away. 
more objectives than your opponent. That's the question why we want to spend one CP to move her, give her an otter six. Yeah, uh, that would guarantee holding one there. Don't you have to do that before you roll the advance roll? I probably do, so it's a moot point. You can CP the advanced aim for a six, but that would be hmm. that would be its own <laughs> own level of hubris. Its own questionable play. <laughs> yeah. You're going that far anyway, so I don't want to give you any extra movement. All right. Um. You over there. Yeah, obviously because I played my Inceptors like poorly and they rolled like garbage. This is one of those games where I would have rather have had. Guys are all going to fall back over there. Yep, they're just going to pop out and make me sad. Dude, we were we were having a, a nice bro hug. Why are you leaving? Oh, we'll be back. <laughs> oh, oh, right, yes. yes, yes <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, don't you worry your pretty little head. Yeah, you do the end scene. Indeed. Just kidding, encore. I'm going to hop up <laughs> here. This guy's going to fall back. Okay, okay. Let's see. Yeah. Right. No! <laughs> Those are my my fine objective holding gentlemen. How dare you? Indeed. All right, so this goes away. Pardon me? Yeah, I have a million like extra dice later on. We know Dante has one. Right? Yeah. All right. Actually, for her, 13 inches. Actually, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to have her go 13 inches up over here. Okay. And you, you can yeah. fall back and shoot? That's the thing? I can fall back and shoot. I just cannot advance and shoot. Gotcha. That's what it is. For reasons. Yes. They're basically going to make sure they can all shoot here. Um, I, let's go ahead and bring in the guardians. Call in the dancing lobsters. Mm-hmm. Can 20 fit back there? That's what I'm trying to figure oh, out. I was like, oh, my, my carefully laid plan of just be mildly irritating. Yeah, it just measures from the front of the, the little the ping, and you're good. Yeah. They're going to be hard to shoot at. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm trying to debate where I want to put them. Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, you can just ruin this impulsor's day. Oh, th that's going to happen. The yeah. um, <laughs> question is, who else's day am I going to rub her in? Thank you. 
question is how many people are going to be within 12 inches and still see them. Yeah, yeah, they're going to have a hard time shooting them. The one in there in particular is going to be rough, because he's, like, this is obscuring, right? So. Yeah, so these people, these guys can all see him. Yeah, it's going to be. This person can see him, though. And I can see your little leg right there. There's only one more. So we can fight about that a little bit later. Um, all right. Um, How many shots do they have? Two shots each. Gotcha, so 40 shots. Yep. Uh, let's go to the psychic phase. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to manifest smite here. Okay. Goes off. So he, he just dies. dies. So yep. I'm gonna only in death this duty end for nothing because it's Dante. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna shoot you with my pla my thermal pistol. Oh okay. Get ready. Two up. Yes. Three, three up. Three up. I can reroll one save for hers for her warlord trait. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. That was clever. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then I'm gonna attempt to cast Twilight Pathways on her. On her. Yes. Okay. It goes off. So I'm going to go ahead and, and advance again. Yeah, she's just flying. <laughs> Ten inch. Yep. Yeah. That's she, she's going to be in the rooms right here. Oop. Yeah, I think this being domination means I'm going to get scrimped out on prime That's yeah. probably how this game goes. Yeah, it's probably going to be something. The charge is an eight, so. Yep. No, it's more because it's difficult. Yeah, it'll be a little bit more. Yeah. I probably should have advanced them, but it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, let's see. Over here. Shooting. I'm going to go ahead and cast Doom on them. Okay. This is what to get off? Uh, Farseer. No, what, what's, the, like, what's the casting value? Seven. Oh, okay. Pretty much all the runes of fate are seven. It goes off on a nine. Okay. So the Blade Guard are doomed. Then I'm going to cast Executioner on the Plasma Scepters. Okay. Goes off on a seven, so okay. they take D three mortal wounds. Yep. Just two. two. Okay. So they take two. Yep. That'll be it for that. Um guys are gonna fire their pistols there. Okay. You're just minus one to hit. Five, yep. No wounds. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. Over here, they're gonna fire their the 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 haywire hay at the pain. They're gonna fire at them. All of the haywire is going into them. Uh, yeah, all the haywire is going into them. Turn three, I got five. Yep. Mhm. Mm this one's been bloody, so. I did. Yeah. Yeah, I got four for Linebreaker, four for Oath to Moment, and ten for Abhor the Witch. Yep. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I got sixteen. Fourteen. What's going on? Fifteen. Uh, oh, the Haywire. Yeah. You're killing my Inceptors. I'm trying to. Yeah. They're on a but two up. Let's be honest. Only the Inceptors can kill the Inceptors. That's right. Inception. Indeed. Uh, so four is to wound. Their toughness five. Okay, so five. Well, it doesn't end up mattering. Because <laughs> I only rolled five. So four? So four, negative one, so four, three ups. Yep, four, three ups. Okay, one wound. Yep. So that guy dies. Oh, did they roll a leadership last turn? Uh, They could not fail. No, they fell on a six. They're fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Farseer is going to fire his shuriken catapults at them. Okay. All hit. Uh, one AP minus three. So this will be a five up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Makes it. Mm. All right. So now we need to do the convoluted nest. All right. So first of all, people who are within 12. That guy's in 12. That guy's in 12. We get to the sticky point at about here. He's not going to be able to see him. Okay. 
but he's still, my range is 14. The 12 inches is the AP minus one. All right, wait, walk me through this real quick. <laughs> yeah, all right, so I've got two rules. Yep. It's for my custom craft. Oh, rules. within 12 is AP, and then minus 14 one. is the range. Yeah. Okay, yep, we're good. I got it. <laughs> That's actually 16 is the range. 16 is the range, gotcha. Yeah, that's just work. All right, so this guy can't see anybody, but he's still within 14, so he's going to shoot uh, him. No, uh, yeah, 16 is the range, so. so. This guy won't see him. Th actually, this guy can may see your leg, but so this guy can't see anybody. This guy can't see anybody. This guy, so these three can't or can't. So four of the guys can't shoot at all. No, they can shoot. They just can't, don't get the AP minus okay, one. Okay, gotcha. So four, yeah. And then these ones can all see him. So 16 firing twi firing two shots each. Oh, were you within? Sorry, I should have said this before, but I don't think you were, so it shouldn't matter. That guy was still alive. Um, I could have auspexed them and then just killed some. But uh, I'm, yeah. if you don't mind, like, yeah, no, that's I, there are other yeah, things no, I should have done previously. No, no, like, yeah, yeah, no, I'm not going to do it. I was just thinking. That was a thinking out loud. Okay, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. 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 Like, I mean, I don't want to be a jerk. No, like, no, yeah, no, no, not at all. I wouldn't have let me do that. I wasn't okay, going okay. to do that. Yeah, yeah. That was a me no, looking down and being like, oh, I should have done this. Right. Yeah, sorry. Nine, like you said, they're all, like, basically practice games, so I'm just trying to, like, know for the future. Like, oh, this goes And that's why I'm, like, I'm also trying to be a little bit harder on myself than usual. Yeah. All right, so 16. So this times two is thirty-two. It's shot. So three more, seven. So this is the ones that ten. have the AP one. Yeah. Oh, AP one actually doesn't change anything for you here, but they're in cover with a storm shield. And that's the question of the the ones that are. But you can allocate. Yeah, yeah. So it doesn't really. They're matter. all in. Yeah. Yeah, I'm assuming you're gonna allocate to the ones not in cover first, all right? Yeah. All right. Uh, now I've lost count. Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's fine. That's 40 shots all together. Let's just do them in two batches of 20, if that's okay. Yeah, that works for me. So I'm going to roll all to hits and to wounds. Yeah, yeah just once. finish the batch, and then yeah. do the other one. Yep. Uh, they're wounding on what? Uh, wounding on fours. Okay. Rerolling. Yep. So AP um, minus, uh, any sixes to wound or AP minus three. Three. Yeah, you'll bounce the end wall at that point. Yep. All right. So this miss. And I'm looking for four is rerolling. Mm hmm All right, so sixes first. Yep, how many? Uh those are four sixes. So four four ups. Yeah. And so that guy lives with one wound. Yep. Then four, six, seven, eight, nine regular. Nine, you said? Yep. So that's six. Two more. This is two ups. And so wow. one guy dies. And one guy has two wounds. Yep. So I mean, I'll pull them at the end. Let's see yeah. how many die. <laughs> Do you want to put like a marker somewhere? So yeah, I'm going to actually track, check like here. So there's two dead and one guy has... No, one dead. One dead and one has two wounds. That's right. See? <laughs> I'm trolling. One guy dead. One with two wounds. I mean, yes, there are ten dead and... <laughs> yeah, they're all dead. They're right. dead. The they batch. don't even get to play in the next game. <laughs> The red card. <laughs> right. Copped. Well, that didn't do me any good. All right, uh, so one, two, three AP minus threes, and then three, four, five, six regulars. So three, four ups. So take two, so that one dude bins it. Yeah, so and one guy has one wound left. Uh, uh sorry, he's yeah. taken one wound. No, he had. No, he had two. One guy had taken two wounds. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. So this is a. Yep. And so you got six regular. And six, you said two yeah. ups. Don't suck. Or Oof. suck. Another one dies. And yeah, yeah, that's on the nose. Yep. So three go down. Um, do I want to CP one of those? I have so much CP. I'm actually gonna do right. that. Okay. Yeah. So one lives with one wound. Uh, do I steal that? I do not. Okay. So. so one guy has one wound left on him. Yep. So, yeah. so these will die. So two dies. All right. So so these guys, this guy can't see anybody now, but these five can still shoot. Yep. All right. 
get five shots. Five. Talked. Nope, nothing. All right. All right. I, uh, this guy is going to fire at the Sanguinary Guard. Which one? Oh, yep. Up him. Still going to hit you twice. Yep. I'll wound you once, no AP. Good. Okay. But they'll take another minus two off your movement. Yep. Yeah. That No, that works. <laughs> All right. Uh, so charge phase. This guy's going to charge him. Um, yeah, these guys are charge the impulsor. Okay. And this might be a surprise, but I'm not going to overwatch. All right. Oh, you did it. I know. Uh, Farseer is going to charge the Inceptor. So Farseer, yep. <laughs> he did it. Yep. Like that. Uh, these uh, Harlequins are going to charge the that squad. Yep. This is getting crazy. They're also going to go just around here. You want me to be more precise? They're all going to be with No, you're fine. Yeah, I get, the, I get what you're going for, dude. <laughs> yeah. All right. I don't know how much time we have left, so... Yeah, uh, those guys will declare a charge up over there. Okay, what is this charge? Let's measure this before yeah, we Yeah, so on. it's... I'm, I'm guessing... Do I get affected by terrain with a flip belt? You would, because it... Because I technically move over it. What's the ruling... What's the, like, wording on flip belt? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. All right, flip belt. Each time this makes the normal move advances, falls back, or makes a charge. Until the movement is finished, the movement can move horizontally through models and train features. I think you would ignore it. Okay. That's fine with you. Yeah, I you're, like the roll you're seven out, so roll a six. So I rolled a nine. Okay. So that uh, even with the minus I'm two. I'm actually going to spend one to overwatch you, though. Okay. So this will be ten shots. Hitting on fives. Because <laughs> set to defend. Yep, yep. So... Let's see if something happens. So, five. Ooh, two hits. Yeah, three hits. Oh, three hits. Let's see if we can limit them slightly. Uh, this is threes. Oh, oh you just do that. That's fine, too. All right. All right, so you made your charge. <laughs> Indeed, I did. All right. That's the end of the charging? Yeah, let me see if I steal your command point for your overwatch. Yep. Nope. Mm. All right. How many attacks do those guys each have? Over there? Yeah. Uh, this is turn three, so I'm in Assault Doctrine, so they would have four each. Four each. Yep, these guys right, have so five each. <laughs> Plus the sergeant. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to have those guys go first. Okay. I'm going to spend one, two transhuman. All right. Wait, does that do anything there? What's their book? Currently, no. Okay, so never... M I'm going to spend two CP to make them extra one damage. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah. Um, their AP, right. their AP what? Uh, AP minus one. one okay. Yeah. yeah. 30 attacks. 30? Three. Yeah, there should be six of them, five attacks. Good God. Each... One, two, three, four, five, six, yep. They'd be hitting on threes, right? Yep. 16, 18, 18, 19, 20. Right, they shouldn't kill them, theoretically. Um, I think this is the right amount. I'm just going to recount it just to be safe, sorry. Yeah, no worries. Five. It's five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay, I was right. 
hard with this many dice. No, I get it. Uh, exactly. And I'm looking for fours. Yep. Which which your dice seem to love. Give me the fours, dude. They're all about it. I know. <laughs> Alright, uh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight? AP? Minus one. Minus one, so we're looking for three ups. Yep. Damage is what? Oh, do they have a three up base? Uh, a two up base? So cover what? only affects you. Yeah, but they have a they have a three up base and they get plus one from the storm shield. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yep, so three up. So eight you said? Ah, uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, and how much, what's the damage? Uh, D3 plus 1. Oh. Yucky. <laughs> so, 2 fail. 2 fail. Alright, uh, so first one kills a guy. Yep. Because he only has one left. And this one, one kills another one. Okay. So, I'm going to interrupt back here. Okay. Do I steal it? I do not. There's another blade guard in there that needs to come out. Just, I'll grab him in a minute. Okay. So, so, quick question. What's up? So I, I thought I killed two with shooting the shurikens, and then one guy had one wound left. Yeah, so there's one dead, and yeah, then there's well one, one, more, one more that needs to be pulled. Oh, that's, oh what, okay. that's what I just said. I said one more is Sorry, in there. Sorry, I thought so. you were just pointing out that he has there. All right. No, 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 no. There's, there's one in there that needs to come out. He's just buried in clowns, no, and I'll sense. get him later. All right, go ahead. Sorry. So I was, my apologies. Yeah, no worries. I would rather you ask. <laughs> mm-hmm. So, four... Eight, twelve, and then so the the sergeant has six attacks. Okay, it's one from his chain sword. All right. So and he has one more than normal. So this is into them. They're not any any voodoo, right? Nope. Just no voodoo. <laughs> no voodoo that they do. Just threes and then twos. Yep. And then twos. Yeah. Two plus one to wound. Yep. Yeah. Plus like yeah. So twos. Mhm. Mm so the two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten total. Ten total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five. That's all of I them. think that's just yeah. I was gonna say that should be just statistically enough. That was I think it was that's a tough one. It was still I mean still forced you to spend two CP. Yeah, it's a brutal like which way is correct type of decision. Yeah, I think that was the right one because it's gonna be hard for you to kill him, him with just one blade, sergeant. Yeah, just the, the sergeant will have six attacks, but it's not gonna wipe the squad or anything. Yeah. Wild. All right, and I've got. Obsec over there. Yeah, so you're good there. I'll only end up with um, uh, two. Yeah, so two let's probably. see. Uh, let's go with the far spear next. Okay. I think he should only have two or three attacks. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use their consolidate, by the way, to just yep. step through. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so two attacks. Yep. I think I'm hitting on twos, wounding on twos, no AP. Two hits, uh, two wounds on the Inceptor, no AP. Uh, is it damage one? Yeah. Um, Is it no AP, you said? It is no AP. Uh, two wounds, he has none taken right now? Yep. Okay, so he's probably okay. So I fell one, because yep. he's a champion. Well, actually, no, wait, I was wrong. Hold on. Uh, the, it, It's a witch blade, I'm sorry. It is D3 damage. Oh. So you can go back if you want to... I don't think that would have changed anything. I don't think so either, because I rolled, yeah, I think rolled... No, it's fine. Yeah, I rolled two pours, <laughs> so that yeah. doesn't matter, so yeah. Just so D3? All right, just make him dead and make me sad. No. I'm going to spend a CP to re-roll there. Wow, fancy. Yep. And then he dies. Because why wouldn't he not? <laughs> yep. <laughs> All righty. And then I'm going to consolidate. Oh, who's closer? Oh, nine inches. 
a Ten. little bit it's hard to say. Uh, I'll just go like this. Flip a different. Yeah, there you go. Between them. <laughs> All right. Um. Uh, over there. Oh, yep. Uh, so three attacks each. One. Two's toughness seven. Toughness seven on the. Track. Yeah, it's tough seven. Uh, you don't do mortals in melee, right? No. <laughs> now I'm just scarred. <laughs> I never they do have any more else? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they, and they should have done, you should have rolled the extra, the damage anywhere for the saves, but it doesn't matter. All right. Oh, it's dead here. There's yeah, no there's world. Yeah, three at AP minus two. Three? Yep. So that's uh, five ups, just past two. Nope. Nope, two damage each. And then, no, it just dies. Does yeah, it explode? Two. No. All right. So, the end so. of my turn. End your turn. We got to deploy scramblers again. Um, but I did get four points, or is it three points for engaging all fronts? So, one, two, that's three. Yeah. So three. He uh, got it's in your command phase, I think. Yeah. Yeah, so not yet. All right. Yeah, it's end of three. So, well, that was end of top of three. Yeah. <laughs> So you currently control two? Yep. Oh, I gotta swing for my blade. Objectives. Well, I gotta swing with my blade guard. If I just kill oh, right, them all. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> There's no way that happens. But if it does, threes. I'm down to one command point. Okay. So I need to roll to see if I steal my own command point back. I don't. All good. And then twos. So five saves on the Harlequin. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Uh, four die. Four die. You owe me morale, friend. Indeed. Wow. That's Two. the unit gone, I believe. Yes. Do I want to use the CP to re-roll that? I don't think you can re-roll that. I cannot re-roll Moral. Okay. All right. So yeah, that'll kill. That's the unit, and that'll give me three objectives. Mm-hmm. So that... Uh, does that give me more? One, two, three, to your one, two? Two. Yeah, that will give you more. All right. So that's 15. Uh, which guy was pulling? Oh, just the one in here? Uh, I can just pull this one. It okay. doesn't make a difference. I'm <laughs> nope. I've only deployed one set of scramblers because I keep forgetting to do it. You've had units that are in awkward positions for it as well because you yeah. can't do it in six of the deployment zone. You've had to like come punch me in the face. Mm -hmm. I'm getting 15 this turn because that blade guard sergeant just put the team on his back. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, they killed one great. Yeah, they squad, killed yeah. one squad, and then they got charged, and they killed the other one. Oh uh, well, uh, I'd have to see at the end of this. So I'm, I'm in. A, I got it once for four. So yeah. I'm at two now. Oh, I'm gonna go to three. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sweating. You're sweating. What's the score? <laughs> I don't have the total. So. Yeah, neither of us. <laughs> we're just like, I have this many. I think you're probably up, but... Yeah, the abhor points. All right. Alrighty. Do I get my 10 for paint, dude? <laughs> yeah. The silliest rule. All right. The, uh, all right, so in my turn, in the <laughs> command phase, uh, Dante is dead. So... I mean, does... So this goes 12, but they're going to go there. They probably just kill this guy. And we just we just chill with our line breaker. What did you say? No, I'm out loud. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just... Uh, oh, those guys need a morale. They cannot fail. They only lost two, and the sergeant's still alive. They lost all five, I thought, this turn. I've, I've only... They were fully squat. No, uh, they got punched in your... Fight fi no, yeah, you're right. Yeah, I'm going to yeah. actually burn two, then. They're going to auto-pass. All right. I'm not so even going to risk that. It. No. Okay, so I have one CP now. All right. Yeah, because they, yeah, they got shot and then yeah, charged. Yeah. That's why. I thought it was the other way around. I thought it was the end of the last, but yeah, I'm no. Whoop. Ugh. All right, Captain Bladeguard Sergeant carrying the team. Um, yeah. I think they need to stay kind of in there. Your ability to threat range just all the way across the table has been pretty diminished.
Is it possible to be within three of this? I'm just going to test something. He's in, mm -hmm. like, literally the corner. So can I be within three of this? While well, being an inch of him? Yeah. God says no. Yeah, no. It's, like, just yeah. short. Good consolidate move. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so I think he's... I mean, if he hangs out there and I go take that objective off you, you're getting zero for primary, and I think that basically ends the game. Yeah, well, we'll see. We'll play it out. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm just saying. I know. Th I just know because the first round he's like big, like on the clock. So I don't want to like mm -hmm. completely throw. Six. So that charge is really easy, and it pulls me away from you, which yeah. makes me happy as a person. What's their like threat range? Uh, 16 inches. It's 16 plus. What's their move? Uh, eight, uh, seven. So, 23? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd be just short if I go to that objective with anything. But that guy can do things that make me upset. Alright, uh, so in my movement phase... Oh, um, the Sanguinary Priest doesn't do anything here. No one's mm -hmm. taking any wounds over there, right? I'm woundless, so that doesn't mm -hmm. matter. Sanguine Priest is doing nothing in this game. <laughs> He's chilling. Because people are already in Assault Doctrine. These guys are going to move... How many of them are there? Four? Uh, four, yeah. I don't think I... Oh, no, I lost that stratagem. I was like, dude, I can upon Wings of Fire, jump over, <laughs> do stuff. I don't have enough CP for it. Just trolling. Okay. So, run the six. So, this should be a quick... The minus two to move, remember? Oh, yeah, so I'm... Four. Only you don't take that. Uh, do I have to move a different unit then? So four gets me to here, and then the charge is a, I'm assuming a five? Yeah. So mm -hmm. five goes to four goes to three. I think it's going to be okay. So... And then so they're moving twelve. Yeah. They're moving twelve. That was for yeah. the lieutenant. Oh, sorry. The ghost man. Okay, so they're gonna, the Sanguinary Priest is gonna jump this way. Yeah. And then the Sanguinary Ancient is gonna just jump up here. Okay. Well, outside of engagement. Yeah, range. don't worry about it. You'll yeah. be able to. Yeah, you get the idea. <laughs> yeah. So if I'm here, the only thing that can get to them. Because you're gonna, you don't have. Tw What's their move? Twenty-two. Uh, Sixteen. I can do up to twenty-two and charge. Yeah. Would you ever not advance them? Well, if I want to shoot. Ah, right. Where's this guy end? So his right max here. range is here. Can you just give me whatever his like? Edge you're is? right. You're right. Pretty much right on it. Oh, okay. So here. Mm -hmm. That's where you can move to. Yes. So this objective is scary and dangerous. Mm -hmm. How much CP do you have? I have one. So you can overwatch. Um, I don't think we need to get too crazy. I think I just jump over and beat this guy up and hold this objective and <laughs> so okay, he's really committed to that objective. <laughs> they got married in high school. It's a whole thing. this thing's gonna actually go oh. to. Alright. Uh, I think the blade oh, guard just chills because his whole job at this point is the go. denial. Alright All right, guys, so we're live back here just talking about these games uh, that we've seen face? since it's uh, some of these games are winding down in terms of the amount of models to be removed. See this? As you see yeah, here, 
no, no, the Blood I Angels oh, no, I'm going that and the Eldar oh, are opposite sides of the field right no, now. No, no, no. Sorry. <laughs> with the Sanger on, Guard man. on the top right I was like, trying to so maintain Linebreaker while my five I more or less I disengaging I from the fight uh, just to sort of sit there one. on that objective. Because they hit on fourth. That Blade Guard Sergeant, Wound you. as you may have seen, <laughs> just um, murdered the entire unit of Harlequins. Um, so that was clutch because they they forgot about that combat and I was walking down there and they're like oh shoot the blade guards veteran uh, and he was very angry at being being forgotten apparently he was like no all these harlequins are just gonna die so I don't know if you guys are able to see the dice but um, Sam the well, elder player rolled four failed saves out of five and it's just and then he failed and then he rolled six from morale and, and they all just died oh uh, yeah. So it's rough, because like, that was really because Sam. It looked like it was pretty grim for Sam for a second, um, right. because the um, the Blood Angel player was really cleaning up a lot of his big units and clearing off his objectives. But now it's like Sam had that shot to really bring himself back into the game by getting good primary and denying some primary. But that Blade Guard Sergeant like single handedly. I think I what's really the Blood Angel player's really name? Really Tom? That's gonna be Tony. Anthony. Yeah. Tony goes. Yeah. That guy just put the team on his back, yeah. and it's. <laughs> Yeah, he did. And, and also, yeah, Sam has been commenting that he's been forgetting which I do before like, okay, okay, which is going to really... I mean, he's, like, playing 10 points uh, down right now. So, well, I don't really like uh, deploy scramblers right with Eldar because see, each of your units mm -hmm. wants to do something. Yep. So, uh, I mean, you're not going to get the psychic powers, you're not going to get to shoot, you're not going to get to charge. I mean, what useless units does the Eldar really have? So, I don't know if that was a good choice. It's like we have them, but they're, like, expensive. Yep. Yeah, so, he's gonna be he's gonna try to get overrun with those bikes, so that that could work. But that one blade guard veteran got him go ahead uh, uh, got Tony at least five more points for primary because yep. it went from holding the same to holding more. I don't hold up else. Well, I mean, so right now just, uh, Tony's uh, got uh, twenty uh, primary uh, to fifteen yeah, primary. Yeah, See, so that's, that's not that's not like too bad. But here. the yeah. secondary is eighteen to seven. Yeah. Um, and maybe it's going to go 18 to 10 okay. with overrun, but All right. it's, it's going to be tough to come back for, for our boy. Um, so, All right, so I put down the volume to 40% for the game. So uh, how, are we, how are we sound now, guys? Is it too loud, too soft? Oh, we're too loud. Fixed. Yeah, because I didn't know the optimal uh, sound level for that, unfortunately. Bear with us. We're just trying to bring you entertainment. Yeah, yeah right. So let me know how that sounds now that it's down to 40%. For the game volume. Yeah, that was that was the like biggest question I had for this. Overall, I have no idea. Very similar, but like just, but, just different enough. <laughs> it's um, point. So the other game, like I said, the Nids versus Space Wolves. That, that was that was a disaster. It was a total blowout. They're still a little bit loud. Wow. Okay. Well, maybe we'll just uh, I'll just mute them entirely then. Yeah, I'll put them down to. They're still loud. Wow. Surprised. Down to fifteen percent now. I'm talking about the players. Yeah, so the, so the audio is going at the same time, and I, I don't know how exactly it mixes together hmm. in terms of in terms of the overall volume. So, but it's down to fifteen percent. Should be should be good now, I would think. But that game was brutal. Space Wolves just annihilated Nids. Nids didn't have any shooting. A bunch of uh, easy to kill genes to their cult guys. So then we had the Custody game. It was pretty brutal in terms of for both sides with. Custodes fighting against Black Templars. At the end of the game there, uh, the Black Templars stole their Blade Guard Veterans. They still had an Impulsor. Uh, the Custody player still had his Ares and some some Guard and oh, oh. tanks, it looked like. We have an Ares. Yeah, yeah, we have, okay. the, we have the Ares. Does it fit in the deployment zone? Yes. <laughs> it fits in my deployment zones. Dom has approved the Ares for the it is, it, is fitting, it is fitting in in the deployment that I have decided is the zone <laughs> so um and then we have on another table we got space wolves getting pretty much crushed by necrons very shooting based necron list then on the other the last table it's a horde necron with you know expansionists plus obsec on all of their warriors so he was able to move up. He got first turn, so he was able to move up to the basically the entire board and push the push the Death Guard back. Death Guard have a great and clean one, some Nurgle Nurgle demons, and some pretty standard Nurgle stuff with 
Olympic Blight Haulers, Plague Burst Crawlers, the Flamer Dude. So he was able to push a little bit back, but killing killing 80 Warriors, it's not easy for Death Guard. You really need some close combat ability there. So we'll see what happens. I don't know the scores yet, but so, one. So what do you think about this game, Dom? What do you think is the play? Because it looks like the Blood Angels are in the driver's seat now. So I wonder if there's any play left for the Eldar to come back. I mean, it must be turn four. Let me update that. Almost, we're almost I mean, turn four, he was on two objectives, so he's going to get five points. Yeah. And I'm guessing um, unless he had a model on one of the midfield, or like yeah. the center line objectives, which I don't think he did. I think he got overrun. I don't know how many points. I think it's like two or three points. It's probably, it's, those mission ones are usually three. Yeah. Um, I mean, so... Yeah, the play right now is he's he needs to get those primaries. He only has like, the Farseer move back to capture that objective on the top left. Then I thought he had a character in that forest up top. Maybe we just can't see it. Uh, it's probably like a Shadow Seer or a Death Jester. So he left that one objective. Uh, I don't know. He just sort of left it. I don't. I, I'm surprised he didn't. I'm surprised he didn't spread out a little bit because he could have. I feel like he could have done something to not just leave that one objective. He could have maybe strung the Sky Reavers because they're so big on their bases. Yeah, the Guardians are going to be hurt by those pipes. Or he'd use the Guardians to go back and get the other objective. Use the Farseer to get the one in the Blood Angels de deployment area. I, don't, I think at the end of the day, it's just he's like, if he had Scramblers, it would be yeah. much, it would be close. Right, because right now um, he could get Scramblers in the opponent's deployment area. And he could have already done it before, but... For a friendly game, we're like, fine, sure, you would have done it. But for a tournament game, you got to do it. You got to, yeah. you got to declare things, right? Well, because also he's 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 um, advancing and he's shooting, so yeah, so he'll be able to. Die. What are you gonna do? And that's your, that's like to your point about the um, Eldar stuff. It's like our units are all. Expe I mean, I, he, he did just admit though that he forgot to do it on like two turns, maybe when he could have. Um, yeah. And that's just why you play. That's why you get reps. Right. Um, exactly. I mean, I've done it in plenty of practice games. I'm like, oh, it's like turn one, I forgot to. I think a trick with scramblers is like, and I, I learned this from the Art of War. Shout out to the Art of War. I think John Lennon was talking about this. It's like always try to scramble the more difficult zones earlier because it's like right. at the forefront of your mind to like move the guys there. Yeah, exactly. So like get the midfield first. Yeah. Right. No, that's true. You should always yeah save save your deployment zone for the last usually. Yeah. Unless there's nothing else to do. I, I, I've never used a poi. I, I rarely ever used a poi scramblers to do my deployment zone first. That's just sort of like a, well, I guess I really shouldn't have took this secondary. If you, could, if you can't do something else on turn one, uh, it may not be the best choice. It could work out. Sure, if you have a lot of reserves, but uh, it's it's tough. So, so it looks like those are, I think those are intercessors that just came out from underneath. So is, is Sam just is done. Wow. Because because the ancestors are gonna obsect the objective and take it away, so I don't know. Well, what I'm saying is, I guess Sam's turn three was pretty quick. I mean, yeah, I mean, he didn't really have anything left to do, right? Like everything is pretty short range. I do. I assume that Tony has something on the right bottom objective, otherwise, he's not yeah. gonna get it. Right. Um, yeah. There's a. Oh, he just moved that guy. Advanced. Oh, that's by one singer guard. <laughs> Right, the what like the one guy who's left over from our combat is just holding the objective like a champ. There you go. Hold on, someone's knocking my door. So yeah, it's looking a little grim. Go, we're, we're gonna go. Uh, I'm just gonna go back to the game. Cool beans. Back to the game, people. Oh, this is a sanguinary guard. Oh, okay. They're also shiny and gold. Yeah. Making sure I wasn't scamming. Um, and then, like, this dude just said. There. So this should keep him just, just on the objective. Okay. Well, being the, the cheeky out of mostly line. He's going to do the same thing. So if you smite murder me, I don't, <laughs> I don't just disappear into the ether. All right, uh, this is a seven. Let's see what happens to make right. this charge. That's Thank a nine. Yep, 
even with the minus two I'm in, so I'm just going to put that guy there. That's good. And then I'm going to pile in so that I hold this. Mm -hmm. All right, this is the same attack profile as earlier. I'm going to spend my two CP to make you minus one to hit. Okay. So it'll so cancel out your plus one. Uh, minus one to hit or minus one to wound? Minus one to hit. So I'll be hitting on fours, but I'll okay. still be wounding on twos. Oh, wounding on threes. Yeah. So this is four dice per intercessor. Oh, do I get a CP back? I do not. Oh, so it's pretty good. Not terrible odds that I don't kill you. I mean, it doesn't matter. You still hold the object. So this is the... Bottom yeah, bottom four. four. Yep. So intercessors. Seven fours. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Just the nightmare. Oh no, just terrible lads. Uh, I got no points. No points. Yeah. Oop. So yeah. Uh, fifteen. How many wounds? So two. <laughs> Pardon me. Yeah, I picked my secondaries poorly. They're both fine. Okay. <laughs> uh, no, because it's on my command phase. Oh uh, yeah, you would have got. But I need to. Oh right, I get two points. All right. Yeah. I th I, th I thought I had to have two. Yeah, so to it's, get two it's points. Uh, no, it's, t it's two, three, five. If yeah, you two, ball. three, five. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I got two points. Yay. Woo! Um, so I'll be able to get a couple more. All right, so... So your swing back. Yeah, there's four left, right? Uh, it looks like only three would... Uh, it depends on how you move. This guy I mean, I need to move yeah, in the inch of a... Yeah, yeah he just, just flies forward, you're good. All right, excuse me. Uh, what do you have now on Earth? Assuming I don't fail this morale Ouch. check, <laughs> uh, I'll be at... Four. So that would be at ten. Yeah. Uh, two wounds at AP minus two, right? Two, yeah, for Zephyr Glaive. Yep. So two five ups. They're mm -hmm. not gonna run to morale, and they can't die, and they pass a five up, so and one guy lives, and yeah. No, I've scored it every turn since the. Oh, I should have left those guys on the other you side. You can do it on your next turn, though. Yeah. So. Because you would be able to max out next turn. Yeah. Yeah, yep. No. I missed it first turn, but I did every like every, every other, other except turn. one, so I would have 12 total. Because I trolled there. Those guys should have stayed on the other side. That's, yeah, that's what I'm saying. I would have gotten it. Yeah, I would have gotten it Yeah, three times. So yeah, 12. so I can't advance and deploy scramblers. But unfortunately... I think that precludes them from yeah. doing it. I can just... Time yeah. five, yeah. Uh, run up here and hold the objective. Uh, uh, this turn, yeah, I wouldn't get any primary. Yeah, yeah. Yep, mm, which is fine. Like I said, it's a learning. Yeah, I mean, for both of us, this was like, what did those Inceptors do? Where's everybody going? What's mm -hmm. going on? <laughs> Wild rolls between rolls that went really, really well oh, and just, rolls that just went the really, really swing. Poorly. Yeah, yeah. That, these guys are gonna fall back. Well, good thing they can't fall back. And oh wait. <laughs> I know. Really. Oh that no. Would be awkward. Oh no. Range there. So just uh, firing at them. So uh, 46 shots. You're gonna charge them, right? Yeah. I'm gonna pull them. So, okay. So yeah, because it's 15 <laughs> right there. All right. It was actually kind of dumb because I took myself off control of the objective, but I don't think it really matters because you just... Yeah, yeah I, I would just get two and more. Yep. Well, you would hold two and I would hold... That's what I'm holding. Control two. Oh, and control two. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. just five. So just it wouldn't matter either way. Just yeah. the lowest scoring primary game ever? Yeah. Uh. Well, yeah, because I should have moved them further out. Because I should have, if I'd moved him a little, a couple more inches that way, I could have got another engage on all fronts. Yeah, but it's it's fine. So I got 15 for primary in turns three and four, right? Mm-hmm. And then five is in five. <laughs> Dude, 40. I'll take it. That's all right. And then my os would finish at I would get three here, and I can't kill a character or vehicle, so three in this turn as well. So I would get four. So that's seven plus five is 12 for 12 for os. Yeah, I'll finish a lot. Linebreaker finishes. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry for taking so long, though. And then I had 40 for primary. So that puts me on... That's 30. So that's 70, 82, 92, 92 with battle ready.
So I've got 10, then 0, 0, then 0, so the last few turns. Ouch. Yeah, the primary 3 of her. Yep. 7, 8, 9 on non-primary. I think the game really turned on its head when that Blade Guard Sergeant popped off. Yeah. And, and honestly, I probably should have... I know, I'd be curious to get your opinion about this, whether I should have fallen back more hard over there. Yeah, I think you should have, because I was able to just be like, all right, all these threats, boom. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I would love to. Yeah. All right, I'm going to take this off. Should I take off the headphone, or is he... Where's this guy? Okay. Uh,